live. We're live. Nation Wars. We're live. Yes. We're live. All right. Are you excited for oh, the big yeah. game? Oh, yeah, I'm excited. Well, what are you doing? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's a, the thing is different. We need to win. Let's go, France. <laughs> big game. Big game coming up. France versus Poland. Everybody, these guys are hyped up for it. Everyone in here is ready. Can you beat Poland? Oops. Yes. I meant to hit the they table. Well, what did you just ask? Yeah. You should be asking if Poland can beat France, fool. Can Poland beat France? No. No? no? <laughs> I'm sorry, no. Okay. What are, are you going to be so? Are you going to be? You, remember here, by the way. Just everyone should yeah. remember this from the qualifiers. You, you are a traitor to France. No, no, I can say something. Hey, my heart is middle Spain, middle French, because my parents are Spanish, but uh, I'm born in Paris. And so I'm living in Paris. If if Spain would to play France, who do you cheer for? If I'm in France, Spain. If I'm if I'm in Spain, France. What? That doesn't what work. kind of reasoning is this? Because I'm Mormon. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there you go, moment of <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Looking forward to this one. It is the highlight game of Nation Wars 3. Very shortly, we're going to be going over to the seating area, the public viewing area, to get the team captain interviews. But we're not quite ready for that yet. This is a big one. It is. It, team captained, of course, by Le Stefano. And also, the other team captain is Manor. And I think we are going to have a very close battle. Uh, yeah, I feel like <laughs> this is maybe one of the first matches here that we're going to see where you have three insane players on one team and three really good ones as well on the other team. So it should be a pretty good matchup. Yep. Hopefully, for entertainment purposes, he's going to be close mm. and hopefully France is going to win. Yeah, yeah, it's a very, very, very exciting moment for everyone in here. But before we talk about it even more, Remember how the prize pool works, everybody. So currently, there is $15,000 on the line for these players, the further up they go in the tournament. But you can, you, as in you, George, George, and Stefan, I know you're watching, you guys can contribute to the prize pools. You can already see it's up higher. There it is, sorry, wrong way. It's up higher than 15000 because every donation that you make on the English or French stream 40% of it contributes to the total prize pool. So an increase of already $1,263. Do you want a math, math question? No, no, no. Do you, uh, want, do you want a math question? Are you good no. at math? What? No. No. He even answered in French since he got nervous. No. <laughs> no. no. I was no, going to no. say what the total amount of donations was. Like the word, hey, well, why don't you say? Well, I don't know. That's why I asked you. Right. Uh, but yeah, so 40% of what you give uh, goes directly to the prize pool. So it's a... Uh, a big opportunity for you to support Nation Wars, support our games, support the players if you're enjoying the talk, which I'm sure you are because Moment's in it. I am here. <laughs> and I'm here and everything it's is good. It's already, it's already really epic hype to yeah. be playing for your country while all your countrymen are watching and cheering for you, but doing it for money as well, that's not too bad. That's not Extra too bad, motivation man. on top of getting to represent your country, Moment. Absolutely. Um, yeah, right. Yeah. You know, Moment, by the way, has been on. An incredible amount of team friends across multiple games. Yeah. It's like Brood War, Counter Strike, Quake One, Quake Two, Counter Strike, StarCraft Two. Yeah. You were on French team for StarCraft Two. <laughs> yeah, the so beginning. Some pretty dark yeah. days. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was very strong on the, the base. You were in mo your matches back then. Yeah. Right. I'm very strong when I play with for, for my nation. More stronger. And when the people are in front of me, yeah. and so many people are behind me. Uh, I'm very very strong. That's the thing. I'm better when. Uh, when then I'm home. It's kind of like you're casting. Yeah. You, you you know when you're in a big arena. Yeah. Okay, we got the you predictions. Know, you're powerful. All right, predictions. Who voted Poland? Rotty. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> in oh. here find the Dutchman. <laughs> Go find him. Kick him out. Kick He's him done. out. Go He's find the no Dutchman. More Everyone. Kick him out. 5-0 from Todd. I don't think that's possible. Todd. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna win so hard that it's gonna count as a 5-0. <laughs> I don't think it counts. Yeah, you say 4 0. I like copied me. you, yeah, I copied Why? you. Ah, because I'm always right. Yes, yeah, I yeah, think yeah, yeah, you're yeah, always right, all. so I copied you. Uh, I do think, even though I said 4 0, I think it's going to be a, a yeah, bit closer close. than 4 0, mm. uh, to be honest. But I thought I'd put 4 0 down because there's a lot of French people in here and I want to be on yeah. your side. You're a, yeah. a people's pleaser. Exactly, yeah, I'm a, I'm a people's man. Yeah, because Roddy, when he go out, he uh, we would kill him. Yeah, so I mean, Roddy's just set himself up yeah. for, for doom tonight, <laughs> Saturday night. Got to have a couple of cheeky ones, and Rotty's in trouble for picking that. That's very low. I didn't expect that of him. It is pretty low. I don't it's think he can be friends anymore. No, disrespectful. I think, yeah. yeah. Kerry, I yeah, don't yeah. think Rotty should yeah. cast anymore. 
Can you kick him now? Can you kick him out? Kick out of the... We don't want Rossi. He's probably doing the interview, by the way, and going to go hard on us. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, he's going to get the last laugh over there. Um, I, I think they're, they're almost ready for the, for the interview. We can go over there in a minute, I think. Oh, there's still a little bit more time left. Yeah. Almost ready, almost ready. So what do we expect here out of this matchup? It feels like the French team, they talked uh, about it a little bit. I think, I don't remember if it was in English or French back then, but they talked, <laughs> I think well, they'd been French. Yeah. They talked about how they have a hard time dealing with Zerg. Mm. Uh, Marine Lord as well really hates Zerg. Does very well against Terran and Protoss. So having Elazer and Nurture on their team, Poland definitely are going to have uh, something good going for them going to this matchup. But Lilbo? Lilbo's got a good versus Zerg. Supposedly, yeah. Supposedly. I Stefano mean is the wild card. Like Stefano, if this was a card deck, <laughs> Stefano would be the Joker for sure, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. So uh, what do you think of the first match? I think, I think it will be a laser again versus Marine Lord. A laser versus Marine Lord sounds good. The two guys that aced yeah. earlier. Yeah. That I would be very nice. I think that would what it would be for the game, for the beginning of the war. Yeah, for the beginning of the but war. But I hope I, I will see another thing of, about uh, Marine Lord because if you do again three bar three racks Reaper, I'm yeah, not but sure he lost he almost no units. Yeah, but I he has no know uh, how to counter so that. Does he? Does he? We will see. We will see. Uh, guys, before we go to the winner's interview, it, it is ready, so we're going to go to it in a quick second. Do remember to send in your pictures. This is a perfect time to do so while we're just warming up for the game. It's just around the corner. Hashtag NW3. Send us in your photos. I know there's a lot of Polish fans watching, so send your Polish flags and stuff in. Send your French flags in. Well, I don't think there's any French people really watching this stream. They're all on the other stream. Oh. But, yeah, well, now friends. you're here. Maybe they're going to be here. No, some French like, uh, like you. Love it, you. Not me, it's kind of like Roddy mostly. Yeah, I heard you're pretty popular yeah, these days. You're so yeah. popular in these days. I'm not popular these days. Roddy's popular these days. Guys, time to go to the winner's interview. Oh, not the winner's interview. It's not over yet. It hasn't even begun. <laughs> time for the pre-game interview with France and Poland. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Good to be here. Probably my last on-camera segment after that prediction I just made. But I'm just going to make the best of it. You know, you got to stay true to your roots. Drogo, the entire building is predicting France to win, I guess. You're with them? Yep. <laughs> 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 what score? It's going to be 4-0. All right. Yeah, you know. <laughs> am, am, I, am I still welcome after today? Yeah, yeah, obviously. Uh, everybody uh, has uh, the chance to, uh, to miss. You know, yeah. you can be wrong once. It's Mistakes not are human, right? Yeah, yeah, it's totally. But uh, why do you think, uh, honestly, like uh, Poland uh, would uh, take it? Um, is it because of Nurkio only? No, not only because of Nurkio. I think all three. Elaser showed us earlier today how good he is. Nurkio has been one of the best players in Europe for a long time, I think, in Wings of Liberty. It's actually kind of cool that we have Nurkio and Stefano in this nation war because those were the best two European Wings of Liberty players, without a shadow of a doubt. Like, they were dominant, so it's super cool to see those guys survive part of the swarm, and now we're here in Legacy of the Void, and they're still part of it. But I think Mana is the second best or maybe even the best protos in Europe at the moment. Showtime is also very good. Sorry, mate. <laughs> and I know Lilba is very close to it, but I think when it comes to legacy, I think Mana is extremely good. So overall, I just think it's a very well-rounded team. But and yeah. what's funny also is that, as you said, so Nerkio and Stefano had this rivalry, yeah, yeah. and also Mana and Lilbo, because they were in the finals yeah. at WCS. There, there is a lot of uh, story before mm -hmm. this match coming up. Uh, the three, uh, the six players have uh, already been taunting each other okay. in the Skype chat a lot. And when we say a lot, uh, it's uh, a huge amount of disrespect, of course, <laughs> inside the fair play rules. But uh, they're, they're warming, uh, warming up, and uh, it's really hard to say who will prevail in this match, obviously. Let's bring them on. Let's I, bring I, it I, on. I, I want to see and I want to hear some of this. As we have the team captains, of course, Mr. Elias Satiri, also known as Stefano, and Mana here as well. So what is all this uh, friendly banter about, boys? What have we been missing over here? Oh, uh, <laughs> I, I don't think you, you missed anything uh, woody or... Uh, yeah, don't mind it, forget it, because... Uh, <laughs> we would look like 12 years old speaking to each other right now, so... You started it. 
<laughs> perfect answer, Mana. That's a perfect <laughs> answer. That's what we always said to each other in elementary school. So, Mana, we were talking about uh, previous uh, interactions and matches between uh, Stefano and Nerkio, uh, yourself and Lilbo. You also uh, battled in the WCS. Uh, do you think uh, all this story before is going to impact how you play today? No, not at all. I think it's it's a different game now. We all had the stories in Hardware Swarm or Wings of Liberty between me and Stefano, but now we have a different game, so there is no impact at all for that. Yeah, Ste sure. You're still bitter. I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> Stefano, so... Uh... I beat you in ESWC in France, so you, sh you better shut up there. <laughs> Oui, effectivement. So, yeah, Mana beat uh, Stefano a long time ago. So, yeah, as we were talking about, but that will not impact anything, obviously. Uh, Stefano, are you feeling confident uh, facing the the, the, <coughs> the Polish team with Mana, obviously, and Nurkio, which is uh, the first rank in the ladder? So, we could say one of the well, the best European player. Yeah, I don't really care about ladder points. I don't think anyone cares about it. We can agree on that. Uh, all I can say is, uh, when Nurture and I had our rivalry, I was better than him. And when Mana and I had our rivalry, I was better than him. So today, I see no reason why I should be losing against them. Or, um, yeah, I, I actually can't see them having the edge, mentally speaking, first, and then uh, in the technique and the control of the game, secondly. So... Uh, <laughs> Stefano is waving. Uh, Drogo, do you have uh, a question for Mana, for example? This is kind of going to be redundant because we already asked about you, Mana, but you have, uh, I think, you can disagree with me here, but I think your beginning of Legacy of the Void was kind of lackluster, especially compared to the really high finish that was at the Swarm. And I've seen that you practice a lot since um, like this disappointing result, kind of. So how, how would you rank yourself right now? among the Europeans, since you only kind of practice, but I, f I feel like you're getting really good now that you've practiced Legacy of the Void a lot. Uh, yeah, well, my beginning was basically just failing to qualify for Dreamhack, but I would simply didn't have enough preparation uh, for that, so I was simply not good enough at the time of qualifiers. Now, now that I played more of that, uh, you're right, I'm, ge I'm getting better, I'm getting there, but I wouldn't rank myself as the top pros at all. But on the other hand, we didn't have much opportunities to to show that to the others. I didn't have any uh, tournaments that I could play on versus others. So this is basically the first real tournament for me to, to show myself as a good Protoss player. Looking forward to it. And uh, another question, Mana. Uh, what's the spirit uh, be in the Polish team? Uh, do you guys uh, uh, practice together? Is it, uh, do you consider them uh, your friends or just practice partners? Uh, well, we don't play together, so we're not practice partners. We are separate individuals, but when it comes to the uh, team team speaking and team playing, now in the Nation Wars, we're uh, as one, so I think it's pretty good now. How does it go for you, uh, Elias? Have you been practicing with your teammates? <coughs> uh, yeah, I actually have only been practicing with my teammates. And uh, we've been like, uh, I think it's the best solution when you are preparing a match to play against someone specific instead of playing ladder. Ladder is better when you do like random tournaments when you have a lot of opponents and you can't really prepare every single match. But in National Wars, you know who you're playing. You have only three play players on the other team. So you kind of can, uh, kind of can prepare uh, strategies and everything. So we've been practicing together, yeah. All right, guys, I think we all want to watch this match. So there are two more things we have to do here. First, something that Letot always does. Elias, we want to have a prediction who's going to win and what score. Are you really asking me this? Yes. Okay. I mean, I, I have to, because Todd I, always it's does a bit, it. It's a bit silly now, because you know my answers. Usually, I never really... Well, we love my... your answer, Stefano, so shoot for it. Yeah? Yeah, honestly, I would say uh, with chance and luck and uh, God will behind them, they can take one map. <laughs> 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 All right, Mana, he predicts a 4-1. What, what do you think? Well, I think after this match, France is going to wave their white flag like this, and at the bottom of that white flag, there's going to be a red line Everybody's over there. Everybody's going to hate you for saying that. You can't say this in here. No. All right, all right, guys. I would like to say save it for the life, but we are actually alive, so I guess there's only one thing remaining. Ilias, who's going to start for France? Oh, let me check. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was uh, Marine Lord. 
Marin Lord for France right. yeah. and Mana, who will represent as the first yeah, so player. So it's all kill versus all kill. It's Elazer again. Oh. Elazer versus Marin Lord. Thank you very much, guys, and good luck. Have fun, obviously, and we'll see you in the lobby. Yeah, bye. Thank you. <laughs> These guys are awesome. Man. Yeah, they're super cool. Yeah, and you can tell like they they were like, no, we won't taunt now. It's it's childish. And then yeah. five minutes, five <laughs> seconds after, yeah, yeah, I beat you, you motherfucker. So yeah, it's uh, gonna be a really really hot match. And uh, I think we should maybe just give it uh, back to the casters and see what they have to say. Oh, Mana, you have no idea. The Polish flag is actually halfway entirely white. If you fold it in half, that will be your white flag uh, after this, uh, this match is done here against France, mate. Well, Todd's, uh, wow. Todd had to say something there, and he's not happy. Um, I'm not. He's not happy with that comment, Mana. So eventually, when you watch this back, uh, Todd's coming for you. <laughs> uh, this is the beginning. Always look over your shoulder when you're out in the streets of Poland because Todd is after you. It was uh, a good reminder, though, the interview, uh, you know, talking about old rivalries yeah. that there used to be between Stefano and Urcio, the yeah. two best European players back there. Stefano and Mana, that met like a trillion times in tournaments. Stefano would win every time up until the points. Uh, Mana figured out you could go for the Soul Train and Immortal on it, <laughs> and he won a couple times in yeah. some very important tournament, ESWC, mm. which he ended up winning. So, yeah. some pretty cool all rivalries here have been revived and in the Nation Wars. versus uh, Mana, the the repeat finals yeah. of WCS Season Three Two. So uh, this is uh, everything is is in the direction of an awesome game here, and we are going to have the third nation oh that yeah. joins Ukraine and China through to the top eight. It will be a first place finish for one of these two nations. And as we predicted, it yeah. is a laser and it is Marine Law, the two All kills. Killer bomb. Usually it makes a lot of sense to use the guys who've been doing well. And I mean, both of the, these guys, they aced their opponents in the first match. So it's a big, big match and it's definitely going to set the pace for the rest of the of the games and uh, the following maps here that we're going to see between these two. Okay, and the, uh, the first map is going to be Central Protocol as well. Um, I, I know you've built a few drones on this map. Uh, yeah. a, few. a few. A few. Just a few. Not many, but a few. Before all inning. Uh, no, what do you think about uh, three racks Reaper again? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't think he'll, I don't think he'll do it this time. Polska! I don't think he'll do it. Polska! Is that Send a dog or a tweets. cat? I can't see it. Can that's, see. Like a, that's a cat, I think. That's a hybrid. A hybrid cat dog. <laughs> uh, here's another Polish tweet. Thank you for sending in your tweets. That looks like a lot of beer and the Polish stream. Hashtag NW3. Hello, mate. Go, go, La France. Jack Fenetre. Jack Fenet. Fenet meets window. Sorry, mate. <laughs> uh, here's another one. Good luck, have fun. Poland rules. I love your setup. Nice. That's pretty like sick. Actually. That is sick. Projector style. Nice. Send I, in I like your, your pictures, guys, at home uh, to the hashtag MW3, and we'll be f showing and throwing them onto the show. But yeah, this this first game then. Do we have a favorite between a laser and marine lord, or 50-50, or what? What are we looking at? Mm, for me, it's marine lord. But well, uh, this is it's a my stupid earth, question. You know, yeah, I'm surrounded yeah, by like French But people. the thing is, marine lord hates Zerg. You know, yeah. he's very good. He's very strong. He played very well. Now I want to see how he play marine lord without uh, the three racks reaper, and that's the thing of I I'm afraid about that. Look at Marine Lord. Fact, time to regain passion. <laughs> <laughs> if there were ever time. Time to regain it right now. Um, I got a question for you guys. Is Stefano, does Stefano have alcohol in his blood in that picture? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. Here but it's go. always. He got sponsored always. by Meltdown. <laughs> it's yeah. always. He's in Meltdown right now. Yeah. We I'm pretty sure his contract involves in unlimited drinks at this place. Oh, Stefano. Uh, How do you enjoy the meltdown? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's really cool. It was really, really busy last night. More busy than last time we were there. Yeah, uh, I think and tonight it was a birthday it would party. Be, yeah, yeah, in yeah, the yeah it should be. be you I, played a I bunch of games there? In there tonight. Played a bunch of games? Did play some I Starcraft. Heard. Yeah, yeah. Did you play. meet anybody good? No, not really. <laughs> I didn't meet anyone good. Yeah. Meet anybody famous? Yeah, Desro. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> <free chat. laughs> Uh, yeah, Meltdown's great, and uh, we had we had the, the Stefano drink too. Yeah, the the, the little. Hey, the what shops. is it like vanilla? And no, no, no. It's like a black. It's I don't uh, know what's in. Oh, it's exactly, black vodka. It's black vodka with with some vanilla syrup. I vanilla think. syrup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was really really nice actually. Uh, me and Rotti sampled it. I didn't know Stefano had a drink on the menu. That's pretty cool. He's a legend, mate. Of course, uh, Blue, Blue Flame Hellions as well managed to get onto the menu. Uh, and there was another one as well, which I f forgot what it was. I think Pump has a drink off the menu, yeah. if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's too 
too powerful, too strong yeah. to be on the menu. So knowing knowing the guy wouldn't surprise me, but man, France versus Poland, this wow. is what we yeah. all want to see here right now. It feels like the big match. It feels like McGregor versus Aldo. Yeah. Like any big, big match that you'd and like this, to see. This is where it's going to start off. So Laser versus Marie Lode on Centra Protocol. A best of seven, three players each with one revive possible if we go the distance. And we see every player eliminated. So far, both of these countries mm. have had a great start this in the first game. Wars 3. This no is the first protocol. game. It's so nice to see so uh, nice. the first game because it's a central protocol, a map for cheese people, for aggressive people. From, from you. For you. From everybody, I think, because the All third right. is not so easy to, uh, to take it. Moment, we're in. We're no. in. No, yeah, you're in. France versus Poland. Oh. It's on. Moment, do the introductions for this guy at the top. He plays Terran. Who is he? Oh! Shit, it's <laughs> French people. He's playing for Millennium. He's blue. He's Terran. He needs to win for his country. Marine Lord. <laughs> and Danny is a laser. All right, so. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, I feel like if there wasn't a Polish stream, it'd be really rude yeah. to do that, but most of them are watching on every yeah. stream anyway, so. <laughs> It's okay. This is a we, we can do this kind of biased stream because <laughs> I'm surrounded by French people. There's a lot, and I think if I say anything wrong, like Rotti, I don't, I don't even see Rotti anymore yeah. after his prediction. I, I think, think he's, he's been kicked out. No, but we can say this. We are French people, and we like a nice game. So it's a big player. He's from Poland. He's Zerg. Red. He's very strong. He's Helizer. You're going to lose. Ever, the, <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna Ever lose. the nice guy moment. Nice yeah. guy moment. All right, and moment. Look, look that, look that. More barracks moment. He's going to do it again. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Uh, here we okay, go. Okay, so I, I was already thinking about this when we saw it earlier, but what's the best way here to deal with this kind of Reaper play? I think delaying your third base, making sure you get a lot of links and try and get the proper surrounds to shut it down could be what needs to be done here for a laser. Yeah, I don't think it's that difficult to deal with. And, you know, NXZ yeah, yeah. did deal with it eventually. Why don't, why don't you tell that to NXZ and then Pig? Well, they, 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 did, uh, they did struggle with it. I, I think, think he didn't know how to uh, fix that. And yeah. for that, you need four queens, zergling uh, speed. Yeah. And you don't care about you got uh, less drones. You need to fix this and take the third after. Yes, yeah, yeah, and yeah. The thing of when you saw the Australian player, they want to yeah. make drones, more drones, zergling more drones. But what what, what is uh, going on with more Reaper of than Zergling. Yeah, and it just oh, comes down to control too. Like, you don't want to be losing any of these initial links, really. You you want to be trying to not lose drones. Just just play tight, just play tight. We'll see. Road Shrine already being dropped yeah. down here by Laser. That's oh, very, very quick. Oh, you cancel Zergling speed. I, that's not good at all, I don't think. Is it good against this? I think Reapers in high numbers can beat Roaches. And it's a long time until he gets a sufficient number out. Do you think this is a good move? I mean, it's beat is a strong word. Like. I think Reaper is the best move versus Reaper. Uh, I think it's just Reaper. weird to start circling speed and then cancel it. It feels like he maybe he should have known about his choice mm. beforehand and not gone for speed then in the first place. But I guess maybe he didn't know that yeah. he was going to be the Reaper build. Oh. He laser upon realizing now he's going to be starting a whole bunch of roaches here in a second. But right now he's... Moment's rage quit and he's like gone. Going to start to take a little bit of damage. Oh, he's got a nosebleed. That's <laughs> By moment. <laughs> Couldn't handle the pressure, man. <laughs> Couldn't handle the pressure. The pressure got to him. All right, well, six roaches are on the way. My man said a roach warren. <laughs> <laughs> God, I hope he's okay. Poor guy. Poor guy. Take care, moment. I don't know what happened. He just got up and left, but he had no. You're food. always welcome here. Okay, so 10 roaches then. Uh, that is a high number. 11 roaches. And now he's going to see them. Okay, is he actually going to attack? Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Oh, Marine Lord. He okay. is going to attack. Falls back on that ice. I don't I know mean, how successful this is, is going to be, though. This is interesting. I think in defense, like, Reapers will be fine. They have so much mobility. Yeah. They regenerate. Look at this. He's yeah, having look, fun he with can this. do this for days. So He's making him fly all over the place. Uh, he's got a bunker starting at home. He's starting at other unit oh. production, too. <laughs> that looks this is a pretty funny <laughs> dance. The one good thing, though, oh, is Ravager. that... Oh, that, that becomes a bit of an issue, a but single. the one good thing is how close they are base-wise. It yeah. takes almost no time to be over here. Yeah, but the Marine Lord is buying so much time. A bunker is going down in the middle time. Steam pack has started now. Okay. Is he going to have enough to stop this? He's got a bunker, which is obviously great, but there's going to be uh, corrosive vials in a second. How many? One more Ravager is going to start well, he here. He can't really afford any more than that, so it's With only going to be two, but it takes a lot more than two corrosive vials to beat a bunker. Oh, it is actually supply blocked right now. I didn't think he expected this attack at all, and 
Oh, the bunker takes so much damage. He's re repair, repair. He's got the repair on. He's got one roach Some down. Some sick micro. It feels like these roaches and Ravager almost never attack. And now when they do, the bunker goes down in two SCVs. Whoa. He hit himself there with the bombs. Welcome back, Moment. Are you okay? Okay. Look at this. Really, really <laughs> nice <laughs> micro. Yeah, because so many turn are uh, going to lose this. For the so an in interesting response here from, from a laser. Yeah, he definitely did a very good job of like trading a little bit, stabilizing, didn't die to the Reaper rush. Yeah, and yeah. now it's going to be 32 drones against 30 SCVs. He laser still supply blocked. What is he doing? I guess he just out an lost an overlord, but yeah. he could have anticipated that. Really good control, though, by Marine Lord. Really nice. Love the bombs all the way back. And the bunker was perfectly timed. Good, good uh, counter response to this. That's so nice how you play Marine Lord. Yeah, because I was so Checking pressed. for a third base as well. Yeah, and, and he, this is annoying as well because without Zirkling speed, it's going to be very hard for him to get a third up anyway. Yeah, yeah. Taking a third base on this map is just so yeah. hard. Like, Elazer, I really don't know how he's going to do this. I'm guessing he wants to take the right hand side one. It is very one, but. That's going to leave so much space for Marine Lord once he gets medivac to drop into the natural, maybe yeah. go around, drop in the main, and just be all over the place. Oh, he finds a creep tumor as well. Oh, he blows one of them up. That's Can't always nice. Now he, knew he need to see uh, the third. Yeah, look, look at them. Oh, oh, look, he's using the bomb to yeah. the creep. Yeah. He's going to get it. Marine Lord is sick. He's got one more bomb to hit, though, but... He's gonna, is he going to try and go in, throw, throw the bomb, get out? No, okay, so he's just going to pass. Doesn't want to lose any of his Reapers here. Hasn't spotted a third base going up here. Marine Lord needs to confirm that he's there. Tank production here. I guess with how you can pick up those tanks here in the Medivacs and move them around, he's yeah. just so small to actually go for it now. He's chosen Liberator, though, um, before Medivac. The big problem is, is you... I think you he wants to go for the middle line, right? With this. Yeah. Let's go. Some, some drop skill for Marine Lord. He need to kill some people. <laughs> and the thing of... No way. He, he lost, yeah. He, he killed four drones, but he didn't see the, the third. And the third is important for the uh, Terran yeah. to see Look that. how many units Marine Lord has. He's got so many Marauders, tanks as well, and it is just Roach Ravager. I feel like when this attack does happen, it's not going to look pretty. Yeah. It's very um, Liberator. Yeah, Liberator you back know, in so yeah. as well. I think Marine Lord just plans on pushing non-stop, and then whenever, I mean, if Elazer somehow stays yeah, in yeah. the game, I think Marine Lord can just fly his command center elsewhere. The Maybe even in middle, in between them. The thing is with the laser, is you expect, after this type of play, to see or expect to have a third command center, right? Yeah. To fall back on. There's none. So it's pure, pure attack. And as a Zerg, you never want to be building units at this stage of the game against Terran, ever. Yeah, the it's army, always drones to the world's his third. And the army to play is going to get out of control very quickly here for Marine Lord. I mean, he's already ahead by, with 52 against 44, but like this is going to hit hard. A laser, if he knew, if he was hacking, you know, if he had an oval, whatever it is, he'd be powering out units at this yeah, point. I think he'd get a bailing nest and pump out a lot of bailings as well to support this, even though Road <coughs> Ravager in the past has had quite a bit of success, in particular, uh, solar against DY comes to mind. And, and here comes the push. I don't think Elaze is really ready for it. He's, he's got 12 roaches currently and four, four ravages. That's not enough. And now roach production yeah. really begins. And look at the creep. The creep will uh, give time for Elazer. So you need to scan, uh, kill every creep, and oh, go he directly. He got time. He got a timing. Uh, timing is now. And if he wait, Elazer can fix that. Yeah. Oh, he's going to lock him in with some good CG or maybe? Yeah, he locks oh, him in. It's wow. a liberation mode. That on is this so ramp. smart. He's going to try and get his Crossfit Piles onto the Liberator, though. He tries to take it down. He's not going to do it. And look at these wow. Marine Rollers doing so much damage. Crossfit Piles need to hit for a laser. And they're not doing it. Well, they are a little bit, but maybe not enough. Marine Lord pulls back. He's going to dodge these very important shots. He can't go bring down the tank. He's doing it. And at the moment, we see a counterattack going on the other side as well. It's into the mineral line. But the Liberator is moving forward. Oh, the plus one attack is going to get taken out, too. Yeah, actually, it's running out of steam quite literally here. Only one single medivac to heal all of this. He Elaser trying things. to hold on right now. He's wow. going right for the Ravagers. He got so many Marines, so in view. Oh, he can do it. Marines can do it. He's going to do it, I think, here. He's pushing through, but no medivacs. One more stim, and every one of these guys is going to be low. This might be able to be held. Yeah, yeah, he needs to pull back to the safety here of these siege tanks with not having any Ravagers. It's just so hard right now. God, he, he shot his own Marines there with a tank because he was killing a creature. tumor. Yeah. He didn't right kill off. some drones. Hell and he no. lost nine drones. And more roaches are on the way. Plus one carapace did finish up as well. Which is I a mean, nice this advantage. siege, this siege just seems unbreakable. Well, he's got it. He's got to try and break it, Todd. Like he's going to move forward anyway. 
He goes into the Liberator. Queen trying to do some of that. There's not enough Natire. The Liberator will reign supreme now after taking out the Queens as well. Yeah. Marine Law's doing it. Marine Law's going to do it for France. The first game, all killer games. It's coming on the hot He's into the draw. The Rose is killing down. JJ! Yeah, I got Be careful, here. your other nostril doesn't yeah, stop so bleeding. Pressure, you know, what I can do, All so right. many pressure. Okay, if you if your other nostril starts bleeding already, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally couldn't take the pressure. No, you're I okay. can't. You're it's okay. impossible. I'm so, I'm gamer, you know. I I'm got so many passion, and my heart is so bring and go. My blood go outside. Yeah, man, it comes outside your body. Like yeah, <laughs> I can't do nothing. That's very nice game. Well played for Marine. The first first point very important for the yeah. France. Yes, they do it, and was was very nice game. Yeah, yeah. the, 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 the two pressure, guys yeah. on fire here yeah. from their first match met in the first match here, and Marine Lord looked much better at first. Yeah. You know, it was a nice hold by Laser, but then didn't quite do enough uh, with his roaches. Yeah. And did not have enough overall, like you mentioned. It. He needed to be making units. Yeah, no scouting yeah. attempt at all, as and well. The thing is, is he had the layer at a decent time. And to be honest, like a very simple rule of playing Zerg is to get an overseer immediately and check out 100% yeah. what's going on. And that could have given him enough time to yeah. prepare. But one zero. Is this yeah. a nerd show or mana coming out now, though? That's the question. I, I think it's nerd show. I, I, I I'm sure because t uh, the Terran Protoss of uh, Marinand is very very strong, and I think. We we see only one th three times, Euro he played three racks Reaper. That's so amazing. And the thing of this game, did you see the, how he fix, how he hold uh, the attack of the Roach oh. of with only Reapers? Oh, it's so small. That's a big TV. Oh, that's a, a big TV kid. and a small child. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Thanks, Thanks to you guys for tuning tweet, in. Man. That's awesome. Keep Here's on another showing. one. Another another Polish, Polish tweet. Yeah, look at Emil. He's like in front of everybody. Mm. <laughs> With his green screen. <laughs> Six setup. Oh, this looks <laughs> really nice. nice. Baguettes everywhere, guys. I think that's a Photoshop. No, Is I'm not it? sure. No? How many for Baguette? Good thing that Marine Lord can carry us so I can freely practice for Nation Wars 4. <laughs> 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 that's really funny. They are so strong, strong. Cheesing for Fran... Oh, cheering. Sorry, you said cheesing. <laughs> cheering for France from Switzerland. Thank you, uh, Nathan. Nathan. A lovely setup as well. Dude, that tweet from, from Lilbo is hilarious, by the way. Yeah. So what do you think? Mana or Nurture? I think yeah, Nurture is like... I mean, he's ranked one in ladder once again. 298 wins and 68 losses. He's doing pretty well. Actually, if Marine Lord against Nurture happens here, it's rank one against rank two in the European ladder. Yeah. And what better matchup than this? Like That's pretty sick, actually. Yeah. Mm. All right, so we're going to have the countdown in a couple of moments to see who's going to play. That's Morpheus against Neo. And so Murray Lord is Neo. And so you, what did, what did you say? I don't know. I actually okay. don't know. Uh, that it's, uh, I love uh, this match. All killer games and number What's one versus number two. I think it depends on the map. I think it depends on the map, which is Lerilic Crest. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. You can now... Don't say nothing. Don't Guys, don't I, I think You're because so of the map, oh my God. because of the map, you know, I think Protoss has a lot of opportunity <laughs> to do all the all right. attacks. So I'm going to say mana. I mean, you guys can be neutral. I think it's not. I, I would say mana too. Yeah, yeah I, I think, think, right, I think, I think so mana is yeah. likely to yeah, come so out uh, here. Especially since uh, you, no, tapped, no, you yeah. tapped into the game and you showed it to us before we were supposed to. See that? Predicted it. Yeah, nice. Got that one right. Apollo. What? I was checking the map. <laughs> <laughs> and you found out much more than the map. Yeah. <laughs> so Mana is going to be one that gets called up to fight up against Marine Lord. Um, okay, what do you think about this then? How's, how's winning, winning a macro game against Terran on, on almost any map is very difficult, I feel, right now in Legacy of the Void. Like, maybe Mana will prove me wrong. I know like guys like Parting have in the past uh, at DreamHack and stuff, but I think it's really hard. Marine Lord is just so solid. I played him recently on ladder, got shut down hard. One of the best things you can do in Protoss against Terran is to go for a War Prism, drop Adept, and then warp in War Adept. Marine Lord, he has a Cyclone in his base, patrolling non-stop, waiting for, for that War Prism to fly in. You fly in, shut down instantly every single time. Yeah. If you don't fly in a uh, War Prism with Adepts or try to do any damage, then you let him macro. You let Marine Lord macro, he's going to get enough Liberators to attack and crush you. So it feels like something special is going to have to happen here out of mana. I think a Cheese or... 
I don't know, something crazy that has to work because if he tries to play a standard game, it's going to be really tough for him. Okay, well, uh, there's some, uh, some info on the game coming up, but of course it is a new player to Nation Wars 3. That means we do have an interview with Mana on his thoughts on Nation uh, Wars I think 3. it's a special tournament for me because we can finally represent uh, our nation. It's simple as that. There are not too many tournaments that you can represent your nation as a team, only basically uh, in, in DreamHacks or IEMs and something like that. You represent it as a sole person, your team, not your not necessarily your, your nation. So I think that's, spe that's special. I think the hardest team is going to be France, quite surely. They have very strong players. There's not no weakling in France, so they are going to be very dangerous, I think. We didn't have too much time to uh, prove ourselves in Lotf yet. Uh, mm -hmm. Only Nurture and the Laser were playing at DreamHack. They, Nurture did especially well. So it might be Nurture, however, I think me and Nurture are kind of equal on, on the level. Now, a laser is very shortly behind, but he's not too far uh, too far behind, surely, as well. Uh, I don't think we have we have a certain best player for now. Uh, cheer for Poland, cheer for me, and uh, hopefully we'll get a good show. I hope the French audience is going to be awesome in the Nation Wars uh, 3. doesn't matter if Poland is going to qualify offline or online. Do your best and cheer for us and for uh, every other team as well. Well said, Manet. Well said, Manet. What a nice guy. Very mm. nice guy. Too uh, bad that nice guys always finish last. Oh, <laughs> Todd, you cheeky guy. Lerilit Caress is going to be the next map. We can jump right into it. And yeah. moment, guess what you're going to do? Hopefully, your nose doesn't bleed while you do it, but intro these guys. Oh, game. He's blue. He's Tarani from the country of the love. France is Marine Lord. The country of the love. Marine Lord. Love the it. country of love. Country of love. Uh, well, marine love, we can say. <laughs> marine love. Because <laughs> mm. he loves his marines. That's okay, sure. you have to introduce this guy too. Well, and his opponent in the top right hand side is Mana. <laughs> <laughs> that's not smart. Hashtag bias casting. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. <laughs> All right, it's Mana. 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 Yeah. Please get me out of here. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that guy just took a turn for the worst. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so man is going to uh, Gateway Nexus, where we have, by the looks of it, a Reaper and uh, Marine Love. Always oh, even changed his name. He agreed with you. Look. <laughs> yeah, very in love. Ah, thank you very much. Production on top of things always. Language of love, le français. Oh, yeah. So Reapers, uh, I heard, are pretty good, uh, Todd. <laughs> uh, yeah. Getting into the pro line. Yeah, against, uh, against Protoss, though, like, it really depends. Once you get the, a Stalker or even an Adept and then a Mothership Core, you can be easy to, it can be easy to shut it down. That Reaper, that's not going to be able to do too much scouting, but getting the first initial scout is so important that yeah. getting a Reaper can be good. But in this case, Marine Lord, mm. he got the lucky first scout, so he's even going to cancel. You see, like it's all about that first scout and first impression. And he, he got a very good one. What does Mana go into, though? That's my big question. Do we say mm. Twilight and Blink, which is one of the standard? One of the big differences in Protoss versus Terran that comes into play very quickly in the matchup is that the Adept is here now in Legacy of the World. It's such an impactful unit that a lot of the time you're going to see them come into play very early into games, sometimes as a first unit as well. But Mana, just going for, na for an old school Stalker here, behind this, I'm thinking, yeah, I mean, it can only be uh, two main choices. It's Robo or Twilight, but sometimes people get crazy and go Stargate. But in this case, it's going to be a Twilight, which I'm guessing is for Blink. Yeah. Marine right. Lord, though, going for Factory like this, you want to open with one Cyclone, almost no matter what, because one Cyclone shuts down everything. And th when I say everything, I mean literally everything. Like, there is not one thing that works against a Cyclone, not one DTs. thing. Well, it will kill it if there is detection, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> Oracle, <laughs> any amount of gateway units, lockdown, kill from afar, just super safe <laughs> of unit. But usually the thing about Cyclones is that you only get one. Yeah. Making more than that will not really serve any purpose. And you just you get, get a one. command center behind it then? Uh, it depends. I mean, if you want to be greedy, you can, but it's probably better to, like... He's going tank. Oh, okay. So, Marine Lord, he probably feels there is a very good chance he's going to be playing against Blink. There is also a chance he wants to do some kind of two-based push, or maybe even a tank drop, especially on positions like yeah, this. close position. Not too long ago, I had the misfortune to play against Bunny on uh, close positions in an automated tournament. Yeah. Round two, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he did this on close positions. 
Open tank. Got uh okay never mind, he's a third TC. Yeah. I guess Marine Lord. You want to get cheeky here, uh already All in right, this game. Well, yeah, mana has got oh sorry, you No, it's okay. It's no, good. you talk moment. No, I, I know I know mana I know Marine Lord. Marine Lord did that because uh this map is very nice for Blink. Because you yeah. can take the third, you can go yeah. to the third to the first, and it's important to take uh, tank versus that. And you can okay, let's go uh, macro game. I'm Marine Lord. I'm very confident of my uh, TVP. He said that he's uh, I think the best um, uh, is his best uh, matchup. Yeah. So in it, I know mana. I'm better forward than him. I'm playing uh, defensively, and I will wait. And after I will kill him. So Marine Lord being in the position he's in, it doesn't really matter what he scouts because he's playing super defensive, catch mm. 22, catch yeah. anything with a third command center. But don't you think it's a bit of a problem that Mana has no info at all and he's oh, just he's playing blind? Yeah, I mean, you, he doesn't have a choice. Like, it's not like he could send anything. Maybe if he had gone for one Adept, he mm. could use the shades to yeah. discard yeah. a little bit, but observers are quick enough that he's going to be able to see what he's up against now and start making his decisions accordingly to what he sees. So usually you see a third CC, you either go pretty greedy yourself Oh, you go for an all-in, but no, I think it's already probably already too late to go for an all-in himself. So by just mana. put down the third nexus yeah. and take proceed. hard, maybe double forge mm. with the continuous chrono boost to get ahead in upgrades. Okay, he, he saw the third command center, so and he, he puts double going forge. Yeah, yeah, so that's his reaction. And adept upgrades oh. as well to uh, have some uh, extra attack speed here. So maybe hinting at some kind of. Adept that will be made with potentially a war prism. Yeah. Oh, he's going to catch these marines. Yeah, though. This is he's bad got, for he's got blink. So one, two. Blink into tank siege. Not yeah, that's why he's all. not blinking because he knows there are tanks around. That's a nice cyclone. Nice oh. catch. Yeah. Nice, nice catch. Well done, mana. A few snipes here. Not going to hurt for sure from mana. Third base going down. The thing about going for double forge like this in Legacy is that you won't miss a corner boost because he's continuous now. So. In terms of upgrades, this could yeah. be very good for mana wow. if he weren't to take any damage anytime soon. Yeah, that Cyclone is going to shut down, like I said, pretty oh, much anything, no, but actually dead. gets sniped. Nice one, mana. He's doing a lot with these Stalkers. Six as micro. Marino's trying to establish this position to actually move his command center over. Good job by mana slowing him down. How, how many uh, Stalker he lost? I think only one. One, yeah. And, uh, and, and the marines. marines. Yeah, eight Marines, yeah. one. Good That's job. very nice. Good job for mana. He yeah. played very well. Nice micro. Yeah, good job, good job. Behind is though. What core composition do you go for as, uh, as Protoss with double upgrades? As Protoss, one of the big changes uh, in Protoss versus Terran is that now you almost don't go for any Zealots at all, as opposed to in the past Just in uh, Heart of Swarm. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of Stalkers, much more than before. You know, before you used to stop at 10, 12, maybe 14 or 16 most, but now, parting against CY, I mean, you casted that at Dreamhack. Parting yeah. went for like 20, a ridiculous amount of Stalkers, 20, 30, yeah. with a lot of Adepts, a bunch of Colossus, Disruptor, and then even later down the line, Storm, for like max AoE damage in support for his Stalkers and Adepts. Loses the second Stalker now, but good harassment overall. Mm. Loses his Observer as well, so this is kind of shut down, and it's going to put the end to Mana's harassment, but no, good job, good job. Lots of uh, Immortals being made. 1-1 one, one upgrade's about to complete. When are we going to see uh, an attack from either side then, do you think? I, I don't think anytime soon. Like right yeah. now, it's all about these upgrades. Keep yeah. on taking, start everything on time. Yeah. And once you have a good chunk of army that you feel confident to face your opponent with, and uh, say you have the right counters to your opponent's army, then you can start moving out. Look, double starports being added on here for Marine Lord. Lots of liberators, I yeah. would imagine. He, wa right? he wants to liberate uh, mana here completely in this game. Okay. And it's, it's nice, but it's just uh, mana many... Mana uh, it a, it's a great scout. Mm. Very good scout, actually. What do you do, though? I mean, you can do much else than going for a lot of stalkers. Maybe you can try Stargate oh. play, but a lot of the time, I don't think he's going to be very good here. He did start Zealot Charge upon seeing the starport. I'm not sure if that's actually an indicator, if he's just getting it anyway at this point. Probably more likely that he's just getting it anyway. But we'll see how he's going to tackle this. I think uh, ma Mana might be planning to go into Disruptor and then Charge Lot and High Templars, but... Yeah, Charge does feel weird here. I hope for him it's not like something automatic that, you know, he kept from Heart of the Swarm, yeah. because, again, like... Zealots, I feel like, in Stern in uh, Legacy of the Void, are much harder to pull off and a lot less useful than uh, they were in Heart of the Swarm. All right, well, both players still powering up in this intense match. Fusion Core! Yeah, he wants to get the upgrade for Liberators, that max range. He's gonna. It's actually oh, insane. Like, if you set up from afar on the mirror line, there are some really areas where. It's difficult to deal with. Yeah, it's, it is. You need a lot of Blink Stalkers. So, I mean, how is he gonna. Actually, on, on this map, I'm not yeah. sure, but on some maps, you even need Stargate units to properly counter. Because the Liberator shoots from so far they're, that they're actually say. over dead space. 
and shooting down the mineral line. Hmm. But I mean, once he has that anyway, like just attacking alone by Marine Lord, he's just gonna leapfrog. Yeah. And I know saying frog when French team is playing can be <laughs> funny, but you can leapfrog forward. Much like you would do with Siege Tanks, but with Liberators in this case. And it's so hard for Protoss to engage into it yeah. and not lose everything instantly because everything dies so fast from Liberators. All right, well... There it is, the upgrades. Ballistics something, what is it called? I don't know. Advanced uh, Ballistics? Advanced Ballistics. Yeah, yeah. Advanced <laughs> Ballistics. So yeah, this is going to be interesting this thing because he's really putting a lot of money into this. Observer oh. going to get sniped? No. Three Marauders go down. Again, if you if you look at the amount yeah. of units that have been killed, Man is wrecking uh, at the moment. Yeah, he's lost a couple of stalkers. He's chipped away a lot. Yeah, the big number that matters, though, is the overall supply, and in yeah. particular, the army supply. I mean, Marine Lord, even ahead in Walker, with 70, like, surely his production is going to be massive. Triple starports? That's a lot of Liberators that he's going to make, and Liberators, wow. personally, like, right now, I know I'm a big whiner and all, but, like, in all seriousness, Protoss versus Terran, I feel like if you let a Terran get too many Liberators, yeah. you can't win anymore. Well, That's my experience in ladder. Th there's, there's been no it's direct very hard. response, technically. Th there's, he's only just stayed with what he'd have anyway against yeah. his Bio 4, but so it'll be interesting to see how he decides to combat it. To Mana's defense, I quite like his composition. Even though it's, it lacks Colossus right now, he's got a lot of Stalkers to deal with the, the Liberators, so, so if just the rest of the army can deal with what's on the ground, he might be doing fine. That sounds pretty intense, though, to send you Disruptor Balls to... Yeah, you it's know, hard. You, you're going to attack move, obviously, I think, yeah. the majority. You attack move, oh. Guardian Shield, Guardian Shield, and he's, then... He's going to catch him! He's going to catch him, and man is going to go in for oh, this. So the on up. They're taking their time. Disruptors don't get the best of hits, either. Marine Lord wasn't set up just yet with the Liberators, but it's not going to matter. He pushes him back. Even those two on the left took forever, actually, to set up. And that fight goes Mazibans. in favor of uh, Marine Lord, for sure. Yeah, so. but I mean, like, he held, but that was a much better trade for Mana than if Marine Lord yeah. had already yeah. been set up. If Marine Lord had already been set up, that would have been a slaughter. Like, Mana should never attack. But now, War Prism on the way, Dark Shrine about to finish. This is going to be a good opportunity for Mana to start doing some damage, especially since I don't know where the, the Cyclone is, actually. Can we check where the Cyclone of uh, Marine Lord is? Did he leave that in his main to make sure he can shut down? No, no. he's relative with his army. So if a War Prism starts flying in at dropping DTs, this could do a lot of damage, I think, to Marine Lord. All right, well, he misses the War Prism, sadly, with these Whoa. units. Great ball Strike. There. Fantastic <laughs> oh, he's catch. He's so well, Mana. Yeah, yeah, he's doing very good. Templar Archives on the way as well with 3-3 three, three upgrades for Mana. Wow, Mana really has played this so well. So Mana's got to be careful because Marine Lord's going to push up north to Surprise. that third base of his. But Marine Lord didn't see it. He's going to have to evacuate this. He's going to lose a lot of time in a bunch of STVs as well. What does he do? Because his army's on the other side of the map trying he to break through to towards and tread base. Oh, he's going to go for Trades? it? Trades? Yeah. He's going to use the reinforcements that he's making right now to defend this. And across the map, he's going to push with all of his Liberators. Mana might be able to engage. The Liberators, they're set up from the, for the top-hand side here, not the left-hand side. So if Mana attacks through there... Oh, he scans though. He does know the army's on the left, so he's going to change it. But DTs and Zealots ravaging the main base. Marine Lord, Whoa. is he going to be able to hold this position? What is Mana going to do? Is he fight into it? Or it's what? so hard to attack into this. That's what I was talking about before. So Mana is hoping that Marine Lord will unsiege both his Liberators and tanks so that he can engage into Whoa. Mana catches a bunch of Liberators. He catches two he's in He's going the for the trade. Yeah, Mana's going for the coming. trade. Like I said, you can't fight against this, so Mana is uh -oh. doing this so smart. Uh oh, oh, Marine Lord's going to turn around. So are we going to see some good disruptor hits? One ball goes in, gets a couple of units. Another ball oh. goes in. You don't repair. Wow, not repairing here. Big mistake by Marine Lord. We're going to lose a very important command center. Uh -oh, Mana's starting to pull oh, ahead. Mana's he's doing very well, Marine Lord. Nice flank. Oh, that flank was so massive. Mana just loses everything. Mana's lost everything. It's going Marine but Marine Lord up. lost only one SCVs back at home, and he's still on the siege. So Marine Lord might have to press across the map and try and finish it. But well, Rhino is pulling back instead. In terms of army supply, Marine Lord does have an advantage to do that very one move. But this the is such a chaotic coming game. Out, two disruptors could change absolutely yeah. everything as well at this point. With and so few units. Marine Lord behind this also is only going to be on two orbitals. So Dark Time Plus could come greatly into play down the line here. That barracks is going to burn down, by the way. Yeah. Marine Lord's back up and mining on this expansion in the middle. But 37 the is still there. How do you stop those? How is he going to combat those? I don't think he can. He has to go across the map and keep counterattacking until he has a lot more army supply, which right now is still in Marine Lord's favor, 71 to 54. All right, Marine Lord's powering up to go again, moment. I think Mana might mm. be about to make the mistake of fighting here against this army. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's coming on. Even though he's got a pretty scary wow. army himself. <sighs> That's so yeah, you are not welcome it's here. So not, big. Welcome. not even back at home. <laughs> that range is unbelievable, and he's sieging forward here. Oh, I can see you. <gasps> He's, He's got to come well. around from the side, right? He's got to come around the left. 
and then up this ramp into the middle with the Zelda yeah, turn yeah. attack from behind. Attacking from behind is the only way. Marine Lost cans and sees ah. the position here of Mana. Destructor ball goes in. Good hit. Oh, he's doing very good hit. It's now I he's think going it's the last fight. Liberator is alone. Be careful, dude. The Liberators get <laughs> down. The Stalkers are bringing them down at the back. But yeah, the Liberators did a lot, but Stalkers clean most of these up. Photon Overcharge is going to be used, but Mothership Core is sniped right behind this. DTB and the Siege of Morin Lord is still there. He's rallying everything he's got across the map. Oh. Preemptive scan. Even going to get the Observer yeah, if he was to target it. Mm -hmm. But Mana down to his last unit. 17 armies to to 64. Morin Lord! Morin Lord is doing this, my friend. Let's go. Take the Nexus. He's killing in it. I, I love it. I, I, I can say something. Mana is playing very, very well, but Marine Lord, I don't know how. He's just a he beast, man. It. Yeah, it's a beast. The he's power of France, the country of love. The country of love moment. He's a small beast. He's a small beast. <laughs> <laughs> he's a love beast, but he's about he's to go up 2-0 yeah. versus Poland. Well GG! Play, GG! Play. Marine Marine Lord. Well played. Up 2-0. Th yeah, today he's playing 6-0 on the National yes. War. He's the nail. He's One of the of few Marvel. times I will be cheering for Tehran over Protoss. <laughs> he took my country to fight for the title here and the advancements on to next round. The baguette. They're doing it against Poland, who everyone, everyone looked at this group and said, okay, France is going to have trouble against Poland because Poland are so sick with their players, a laser man and Nurcio. Nurcio has to come man. out now and show how good his country is because Marine Lord mm. is on a wrecking ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you? I can, I can. You did already a little bit earlier. A little bit with uh, my friend Apollo. But I, I can say something. It's so nice to see that. But now he will pay versus Necho. And Necho Green is take my is the number one <laughs> of leader of uh, Legacy of the Void. So it will be very yeah. hard, but he can do this. Yeah. Only two points for Ford. the first. <laughs> <laughs> Respect not found. Oh, really? I told, you, I told you that's what we say in French. You know, when somebody crushes someone, it's like there is no respect. So respect <laughs> wasn't found here. That's huh. funny. There's another one. Oh, nice. Streaming, playing, and watching. Oh, gaming. Nation Wars, passion, baguette, hype. Look at Funk's face, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Love it. Quite the caption of him. Here's another one. Uh, thank you for sending this in. Hashtag NW3. Best solution for learning French and StarCraft at the same time. All right. Educational stream. Yeah, quite a few people actually tune into the French stream just to like, I guess, yeah. improve with their French a little bit. I'm not sure if listening to this guy shouting and using a bunch of slangs is the best solution, but yeah. uh, I recorded surely you must before help. moment. I recorded you. Oh, what? casting. Yeah, I, I think you. when I'm casting, I did it on the, the prime of I'm not sure if when I'm casting, I'm so exciting. I think I don't speak French. Yeah, but okay, show it to the stream as well. Yeah, no, okay, yeah, yeah. Show it's it. too difficult, I think. You can't do it. it. It's too difficult. In really we can do what to want. Oh. Next. Nurture. The yeah, last yeah. player, the shocker. Ace, of course, of he needs to kill 2 0 Nature now. <laughs> because I, I, yeah, I mean, if Nurture is coming out again, which. Yeah, he will. Number I mean, if Nurture gets smashed now, it doesn't necessarily come out one more time. Think about it. Yeah. No. yeah. Imagine three rack sweeper loses zero units. I don't yeah. think Nurture will come out again. And the map is actually Orbital Shipyard. How good is it for three racks? Uh, <laughs> is it good? Yeah. It's a, it's I so mean, any no, map's good for. A yeah. No, it's not so. No, for me, not so good uh, because you got the second. Uh, you explain the expand. Sorry, behind the yeah. main. So if it's play. Uh, but you can go. The yeah. Reaper is not gonna uh, crush you. But doesn't you, don't you, you don't like you just prevent him from taking your third? Well, you take your own yeah, natural you and then two base against two base. No, the third you can take it when you come some roach. You don't need to uh, to get um, twenty roach. You need only five, six. You know, with queens, yeah. and you take the third after. Because when you do that, the uh, the the Cheran is gonna go uh, down because he don't have nothing against that. So uh, I don't know what is what happened now, but if Marineland do four uh, three rack sweeper, he's gonna win again. What are uh, you gonna do? I don't know. Eat, the, eat this whole baguette. Eat this whole baguette. In if if, in less if than France five all kills Poland, you have to do something. Why? Eat I, this because whole your moment. Yeah. Uh, that's and okay. France wins also. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, it's me. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I know. Like you need to like eat this entire baguette or something, man. No, at this not because it was so, you know, everybody touch it and, uh, <laughs> you know, I don't want to <laughs> You touch it. Oh, well, uh, no, can Rotterdam touch it. Don't, I don't want. Oh, yeah. yeah we touch it. Yeah, we can, we can wash oh, it, though. We yeah. can wash it. I'm sorry. I need to clean my... <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're going to take a very quick break <laughs> because two maps are down. When we come back, we can see if Marine Lord's wrecking can continue as he goes up against Nuccio.
Cool. Oh my god, so right. sick. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> welcome. Intro. Yeah, so, yeah. Welcome back to Nations Wars. Uh, season three, we're here at the final clan war, Nation <sighs> War of the Day, and so far it's all Alele Blue. It's all baguette. It's all baguette. It's all baguette. Like, oh, so what sick. is this? No, no, no friends. No, no, no friends, man. <laughs> no friends. Got a new guest on the yeah, camp. soon they're gonna have like no friends. They're like, you know, they've all been like North Korean, North Koreans, and then they're gonna be like no French. <laughs> no French. Nerf the baguette. No French. Nerf the baguette. All well, right, well, LK, it's great so having uh, you here. And uh, let the bias shine. Just continue <laughs> doing what you guys have been doing all day. As we're getting ready to hop into the third game of this nation war between Poland and France, as we are loading into Orbital Shipyard, Fonka, take it away. All right. In the bottom left, he just killed two players of the Polish lineup. He is unbeatable, 6-0 in Nation Wars 3. It is Marine Lord! <sighs> Elki. I just did Yeah, it's... Oh, well, nice, free by guess now. What the <laughs> fuck, let's go. So Four many, oh <laughs> Top right. All right, top right is... Uh, who's Nurcio? <laughs> who's Nurcio? <laughs> who's Nurcio? <laughs> What? Oh, he's the guy who's gonna get wrecked by the French, by the by Marine Lord. Yes. He's gonna be the next victim of uh, the baguette. Nurture is uh, actually very good. He is. Yeah, I, uh, he was part of the Dream Act, right? Yes. I, was, I was at the Dream Act. Yeah, he won, uh, he won his he group, made it to the almost, semifinals. He went, he went almost as far as uh, Fire Cake. That's yes, not bad. He that's actually not bad lost, for, for he lost the Fire Cake. Yeah, obviously, he's French. Fire Cake is French, <laughs> but that's not bad. Fire it's Cake, like the, the backup <laughs> baguette was too much to handle. So much, so <laughs> much baguette. And we don't even have our uh, our Frenchie that was third at the Dream Act, so we're still leading, leading sorry, 2-0 in mm -hmm. that match. And as you can see, Marine Lord apparently has one build. Yes, this is what I likes already to open said, with. by oh, the way. Sick. You know, I think it was Petit Drogo who said, like, yeah, he didn't want to review his real build. I was like, I'm pretty sure this is his real build. Like, he's just going to do this over and over yeah, again. Yeah, it's like Sig Meta game. He's like, oh, okay, he probably has a secret build that he's not going to reveal. <laughs> Actually, no, he only has one build. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Nurture has seen this three times by now, so let's see how so he like wants to approach it. So like a free Reaper? Mm -hmm. Wow. So the, the thing is, like, Reapers, they trade so well be, uh, now in Legacy of the Void. Way better than Heart of Swarm against right? Roach yeah, and Zerglis. Yeah, the mines. Against Roach, it's not that good, though, is it? Uh, Sorry? Against, against Roach? Against Roach, it's not that well, good. Well, it's very hard to put, no, not in, like, high numbers if the Zerg has a very good economy. But if you make a lot of roaches early, the Zerg economy is very weak. And that's what we saw with Elazer against uh, Marine Lord. And even though Marine Lord CC was late, he bought so much time with all those mines. Like, the mines don't kill the roaches immediately, but it's also very hard to push with roaches because if you run into 10, 15 mines when you try to make it across the map, you know, do that damage does really add up. Yep, the DPS can be quite high with the mines. They deal 10 damage, as you can see. <laughs> Zerglings, they're actually flying. Yeah. He cannot get the Zergling that is really, really low, but he's gonna get it afterwards. First Ling dies right here, and three more Reapers. And as we see, Roach Warren, again, he's doing it the same way as uh, Elazer. Yeah, I think it's very important he maybe gets a few more drones before he starts making all those Roaches. I think every drone you can get out right now to saturate that second base is going to be very, very useful for you. Mm -hmm. So no link speed Yeah, exactly. Uh, no link speed at all. Yeah, no link speed. He's gonna have a, a tremendous amount of uh, gas to build Roaches from. Three Reapers, he actually bumped out his own Reaper on this one, and second CC is faster than on the other game. Um, I don't know, this map is quite large. I think the uh, counter-attack with Roach is not going to work. No, and it's also a lot easier for Marino to stabilize because he has a pocket expand. Yeah, for sure. Which is so sick. So sick. So, so sick, the pocket <laughs> expand. <laughs> It's even better than a uh, pocket pocket aces, actually. Yeah, pocket so expense. So is, there, is there a very good map for Reaper or for Reapers, right? <laughs> it is pretty good. You can you can up in into the main for like from like ten different angles. But you can't go to you can't go to the expansion though. So no, 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 you can't. Look at this. It's basically like force fielding the Zerg into his main. <laughs> <laughs> Terran force field. Yes, Terran has force fields right Finally, now. Finally, the game is balanced. All right, third CC already going down for Marine Lord. He's not he's not afraid at all. Of course, he has to do a little bit of economic catching up because his, you know, his first expand is quite a bit later than the hatchery of Nurcho. And Nurcho just made five, six safety roaches, and then he went back to droning. Does he have enough right now? Mm, I guess it's very hard. Like these, as long as these Reapers don't have high ground vision, it's very hard for Marine Lord to figure out whether or not he should engage. I mean, don't you think he feels like really good about the fact that uh, Nurcho cannot take a third base right now? Like he's literally blocking him into the main base. So that's a really good. Oh. Will he go? Nice. Uh, oh, no, I, yeah, I thought okay. it was only one Evo to do drops and then get roaches out of the base without the Reaper seeing it. Maybe. I don't know. That was kind of far-fetched, but yeah, I mean, that's not going to be it. Yeah. 
Uh, I kind of wonder what he's going to do, though. It's very hard to just win this. I mean, he's still not on uh, on lay attack. He's still on hatchery attack, so it's yeah. kind of strange. He's got a good double Evo for lots of upgrades. Yeah, but anyway, oh, we'll sick. see. Only he left rooms. a couple of roaches behind. That's very smart. I think he could have gone for it. If he, if he went for it, maybe he loses yeah. all the Reapers, and maybe that's not a good call, but he will kill definitely some drones. The thing is, though, I think then the Queens will show up as well, and the other Roaches would have gone via the south side, mm. uh, and then the Reapers are surrounded. And I don't think that Marine Lord wants to lose his Reapers that's right now, because this is yeah. the only map presence he has. He lost, two, he lost three now, actually. That's kind yeah. of a lot. Three Reapers, but he's getting back on the economic uh, side of things. 36 SCVs against 43 drones. It's interesting that he's getting melee upgrades, by the way, Yeah, yeah, yeah. since he doesn't have link speed. Is he going to play Mutaling Bailing? Ultralisk. No, Into no. Ultralisk. Ultralisk, they can't they can fly from the mines, right? <laughs> they don't get, uh, they don't jump from no, the mines. No, they don't get uh, bumped by the mines. That's why. <laughs> and they also have a gazillion uh, HP. HP and armor on this game. We call it Vachette in French. It's like a tiny cow. We call him like this. It was like Vachette in 2GG. Because that's <laughs> what happens in TVZ. We'll see, we'll see. Few Ravagers being morphed now as well, so these Reapers are really going to yeah, lose Ultralisk their value. Ultralisk are so strong. How do you kill them, Ultralisk? You need Liberators? ghosts. Liberators? I think you yeah, need Liberators yeah. or ghosts. Liberators is what most Terrans have said, but uh, I think it's safe to say that if the Zerg gets all the way there and gets all the upgrades on the Ultras, it becomes extremely difficult for a Terran to kill them. Just need to create a minefield, have a liberation zones, to spread a lot of freedom, basically. Yeah, spread a lot of freedom. <laughs> And uh, that's the thing that kind of worries me, is that the 1-1 one -one is about to finish for our Zerg player when uh, Marine Lord doesn't have even uh, one single eBay. He's going to have a really, uh, he's going to have really late upgrades. That's, that's kind of mm -hmm. bad for our Tyrant player, but as far as macro goes, third CC on the low ground at 635, mm -hmm. just building SCVs 3x3, I think the position is pretty good for Marine yeah. Lord. Economically, it's pretty good, but I do think we have to give uh, a lot of credit to Nurture for the yeah. way that he handled this, because it all looked easy, but we've seen it in the previous games. It's not easy to defend against his Reaper Madness. He didn't, he didn't do much damage with the Reapers. No? Yeah, not at oh, all. Right. I don't Actually, think he killed right. a single drone. He killed like only one Zerling, like a few Zerlings and maybe... Mm -hmm. Of yeah. course he did force out the reaction, which is one of the things you're kind of hoping mm -hmm. for, but extremely well handled so far by good old Nurture. Yeah, indirect damage, but not uh, mm -hmm. not a single da direct damage uh, as far as economy goes. Two first medivacs are going to cross the map and try to deal some damage in the main. Infestors! He's not even going to play Muta, he's going to play yeah. Infestors and really faster uh, uh, tier 3. Into Ultra. That's a cre really good strat, but if Marine Lord can pick up on the fact that there is no air presence, maybe he goes like a lot of drops yeah. and deals some damage? I, I would love to see that, especially if Nurture is going to spread himself thin over four potential locations right now. Marine Lord being a little indecisive there, he realizes that his Metafax are spotted by these overlords. These infestors don't have pathogen glands, by the way, so they won't be able to fungal these Metafax immediately, but good job there with Nurture having links in position. And five spores. He has so much money right now that he can handle just pl planting spores that weren't that useful before in Out of Swarm. You couldn't really pay for that. In that game, I think you can you can do it way more. And that's a good uh, that's a good strategy from Nurture. I mean, he doesn't have any air presence. Let's do let's build some uh, some spores. What do you think so far, Elke? How's it looking for your country fellow? Of course, it's looking good, man. It's French. He's <laughs> a, a home of the baguette. I think he's doing pretty good, actually. He's, uh he didn't do that much damage, but it's gonna defend the really of the next engagement. Whoa. I think the oh. next big fight. Those one one yeah, exactly. they trade yeah. so well. I was about to say, if you take this fight where, the, where you reverse the upgrades, where the Marines would have had the better upgrades, not a single Marine dies and all the links die. There you could truly see how important upgrades really are. And that saves Nurture there a little bit. He would have taken so much damage otherwise. He would have needed to kite quite a little bit to uh, mm -hmm. make it a decent trade. I think he got. Oh, I thought he was fungled on those with too many backs, but. That's such a big loss. Like it doesn't show that much, but having those too many vacs full with marines yeah. on two different locations is so important. Now it we lost that. It represents a huge threat that right now Nurture doesn't have to worry about anymore. Mm -hmm. And we all know that in CVT it's been like this for years. Getting that fourth base without taking too much damage, that's the most important phase in the game for Zerg. And it seems like Nurture is getting away with everything that he's wishing for. Getting Adreno Glance, two two upgrades are done while the ones of Marine Lord are just starting now. And even the Ultralis Cavern is on the way, so well, uh, okay, this is a very uh, this is a good-looking drop. I don't think he's going to be able to get oh, the actual Congo. Oh, oh, sick. That is oh, really corrosive bad. ball. No, oh. not even need it. Wow, that's pretty sick now, actually, yeah. Because uh, he needs to do damage before the Ultra comes out, yeah. I think. Otherwise, it's like, it's kind of like his timing, right? And then, like, because, like, Zerg is saving money and uh, for Ultra risks. 
and but tech, so when your choice comes out, it's gonna be pretty hard to fight them with Marines and mm. Marauders. At least it's hard for me, I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 it's no, gonna no. be hard for you. Yeah, it's not just hard for you, okay. yeah, It's yeah, hard yeah. for every Terran out there. It's like a Marine deals one damage yeah. to a Ultra with a uh, Chitinous Plating. Yeah, so you need some pretty like good micro. You need some pretty good micro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You need to be able to kite like uh, the robot that they designed to micro perfectly. I but don't you can't, you can't uh, slow down. The Ultra, no, the Ultra, the Ultra is they don't get slowed down by the, by the Marauders, right? No, they don't. So you can't really kite them. I mean, Kind of, but not really. Okay, so apparently the plan for Marine Lord, now that he knows that Ultra is not going to be on the field, he's going to be playing really defensively. He's, he eats another fungal and loses all eight Marines, but that's that's okay. I think it's way uh, way less important than before, but he's going to be playing really defensively with Ghost and Tanks and just maybe slowly leapfrog into a fourth base. He can't really go on the map. He can't fight on open ground against Ultra. Oh, he's going to try to intercept this as well. Imagine if he lands one more fungal. I guess he doesn't even have enough anti-air there. So. He yeah. probably won't fungo because it would be a very unnecessary fungo. Spawning the army would always be nice. So There's plenty of spore crawlers around the map as well, which I think is going to make his life a little easier defending against those drops. Mm -hmm. Now that's a really good game from the intro. I mean, he's playing yep. amazingly well. He's playing flawless, pretty much. Flawless. What did you want to say, Alki? Yeah, so he's going to just total up and do it until, until what, uh, Marine Lord? What's, what's his plan? Uh, what's his strategy? Yeah, lots of ghosts and eventually liberators, I think, as well. And also catch up in upgrades because he's uh. just too far behind in upgrades. Maybe he wants to go for it right now since 2-2 is ready and he has a bunch of ghosts, but I'm not exactly sure. Look at these sports, by the way. They're going to make Nurture's life so much easier in defending yeah. against the drop. On the natural, that, that fifth base is going to get cancelled. Only two drops making it here and the sport is going to take out a medevac. It's so sick how spore crawlers are better in defending against drops and spines. <laughs> they are. Ouch. Nice, nice combo. Fungal into uh, corrosive bile. One medivac just remaining on the right side of the of the uh, of the map. So he's taking, ju he's just taking a fourth base, and he mm. needs to camp. I, I don't think he can play that game normally. He can't really attack right now. He's uh, too far behind. There's a spire as well. There are corruptors out now. So a corruptor is going to be able to shut down a couple of these medivacs that are just hovering around Nurture's bases. And B, great spire on the way. Oh, so oh, that oh, means oh. we're going to have to worry about ulti by, uh, with uh, Broodlord soon as well. And it's very hard, I think, for Ghosts to deal with Broodlords. Oh, first fight is going to come. Snipes coming from the Ultras. That's really good. He's trying to get oh, out oh all these God. Ultras. The fungal is so massive on this one. Yeah, the fungal is really connected well, but Sick. still a lot wow. of these ultras actually went down. That was a surprisingly good fight for Marine Lord. Nurture is still maxed out, and that's because he has a lot of links in the production tab and a lot of additional ultras, but I would almost say so far so good for Marine Lord. That was as good as it could have been, I think. Yeah. That was a that was a really fast. I'm not I'm not okay with this. I don't think he can he can leave no. his fourth base. I think I think he needs to camp. And that last position was really very well. Sure. This time the tanks are very exposed, and this is most likely going to end a lot worse Ooh. for a French Terran player. Oh, it's bad now, yeah. That oh. is just over, I th actually. I think. Uh, I mean, le, le massacre. Le, le massacre. <laughs> C'est un massacre. <laughs> massacre and Marine Lord, who's trying his heart out to micro everything, but he's getting fungal oh. into corrosive bile. The combos, man. So oh, good. Yeah, yeah the it. combos of Nurture are very good. He's hitting all his spells. Did he ever get pathogen glands? Yeah, I got to be too confident here going out. I think, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. Pretty bad positioning. And now it's going to end the game. I think he's going to raise the wall as soon as he can. But the snipes, there is not is enough ghost. And once again, amazing fungal, zergling, circling everything. G G G G. G, -G. A, a small piece of the baguette. Yeah, Ooh, but just a, <laughs> just no, no, a little so rip in the armor. Do it. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. You're the only one that said Poland was uh, was was about to win. I, I mean remember uh, from the prediction. I mean, the French, the Frenchies are still ahead. They're still in the lead. Oh, you bet on Poland to win the series? Yes. You're crazy. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> so sick, right? Uh, yeah. Like, what is going on? Uh, just a 4-3. What's wrong with you? A close match. It is. A, no, a cheeky 4-3. A cheeky 4-3. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think just so far, this is living up to the hype, though, guys. Like, this is awesome. We really hope for a close match. The first twos were both all kills. And all kills are awesome for the guy that's all killing the other team. But for the neutral spectator, it's not that great. Yeah. And, like, this is going to be an awesome match. It already is. Nurcho played so incredibly good. Of course, credit where credit is due. Marine Lord got two wins for his team. Amazing start for France. But Nurcho in this game... That's awesome. That was really, really yeah. good. I mean, he didn't do a single mistake. I he, think was ready, yeah, he was ready for everything that Marinor was doing, actually. Mm -hmm. It kind of seems like he was like expecting the Reapers, and then he was expecting the drops and defend really well against it, and then it's just like, yeah. No, yeah. totally. I mean, we, we, uh, we kind of pictured Nurcio as the big boss for Team Poland. And now that we took everybody else away, now Nurcio comes in, and it's starting to be really, really hard. Team Baguette, take my energy.
Marine Lord, Stefano, and uh, Petit Rogo actually is here, and Lilbo too. I like it. Quality casting. <laughs> Antoine Morgo is in the house. Baguette? Yeah, that's that awesome. <laughs> ah, I remember <laughs> this one. I remember <laughs> this one. When was this? Uh, that was a couple of months ago, I think, when I drove by Paris. <laughs> yeah, there when there was actually sunshine on Paris. Oh, Roddy loves dog. Oh, oh my god, it's such a cool dog. Look at that dog, it's so big. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you very much, Drew. Keep the tw tweets coming, guys. It's super awesome. Hashtag NW3. Improve with <laughs> Apollo. <What> <laughs> Improve with Apollo. Well, that's a really old video. That's really yeah. old, yeah. <laughs> I think the last time that he actually sat down to, uh, to recall the VOD was like three years ago. So. But I have great news for everybody out there. Apollo played against Desiro yesterday. Absolutely destroyed Desiro Steren. Whoa. And he's probably going to make a YouTube video about it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. it's coming, guys. Uh, we will have the countdown at some point. So now, now is the question: Why would you? What would you do? Would you send Lilbo or Stefano? A is Lilbo beating Nurcio at Dreamac. So a guy that we know that can do it. I think or Stefano. Stefano question mark. I think Stefano wants to go. Okay. I, I think that if I if I know Elias, like Elias already said in the pregame interviews, like well, uh, when I had my little rivalry with Nurcio, I was always the better player. So I, I think Stefano wants to play, but. I personally think Lilba would be a better pick. I think Lilba is a better pick, okay. but I think Stefano will play. Out and head for Rotterdam. And we're going to know in one second. Stefano! Stefano! Oh, sick read, sick read. Uh, Stefano! Is this it? <laughs> it and everybody <laughs> in the freaking studio is yelling <laughs> Stefano. Not he even kidding. Elias stepping up. He is stepping up. That he's sounds sexy. He's the captain, right? He's, he told himself that like he wasn't exactly sure who was the boss in the team, and then he just said, like, oh. I am the boss, and <laughs> since I'm sitting here, I've won our internal discussion. Yes. And I, and I, think, I think Stefano has a shot. We, uh, we've seen him, especially in the beta, mm -hmm. playing the game like a madman. Now we don't know as much as, uh, as, as uh, before, uh, as far as his um, training goes. But he's been always really good in ZVZ. He was the first one to play like a defensive, passive uh, ZVZ with lurkers and spores and everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. Kind of <laughs> like, like swarmers. Like swarmers? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But um, I think it's a matchup where he feels uh, kind of confidence. And maybe, um, maybe he can make it. I hope he can. Of course he can. What the hell are you talking about? Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, 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 you okay. seem so doubtful. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm a little bit doubtful. I, I agree, I agree. Why? Because we don't really know what Stefano has been up to. And yeah. Nurtu is a beast these days. Yeah, but he lost to Firecake, right? Too. He so did. He did lost lose to one French guy, so he's already has like the. So you're saying that a baguette yeah. can trade it's with it's another? He's already scared of the baguette, so I mean, you <laughs> just have to like hit him with hit him with it one more time, and then he's gonna. All right. One <laughs> of the baguettes is a little weakened, though. <laughs> yeah, it this it one. Yeah. This, this so one is out. It took it's a little damage. Yep. Uh, we have some thoughts from Stefano that we recorded earlier. So uh, guys, just uh, take a look at what Stefano has to say. Euh, donc les Nation Warriors, ça signifie beaucoup, euh, je pense, pour tous les, tous les joueurs, hein, que, ce, que ce soit les Français ou n'importe quelle autre nation, parce qu'on a justement l'opportunité de se retrouver dans une équipe et ça prend tout son sens euh, sur Starcraft pour une fois. Ce qui est bien dans notre équipe actuelle, euh, équipe de France, c'est qu'on on se complète plus ou moins. Il y a Lilvo qui était censé être très bon contre Zerg, mais ça c'était sur la fin de Arthur de Swarm. Justement, c'est pour ça que je ne suis pas trop sûr euh, comment avancer à son sujet. Mais Marie Lord a toujours eu un, un TVZ euh, hors du commun. Donc euh, ça devrait le faire. Je sais que j'ai déçu par le passé durant le... Surtout les dernières National Wars parce que j'avais une semaine de vacances qui tombait pile avant. Le... Je finissais ma vacances la veille des National Wars et du coup ça s'est très mal organisé. C'était déjà prévu donc j'ai foiré à ce niveau aussi. Cette fois-ci quand j'ai annoncé sur Twitter que je voulais participer, j'ai demandé où c'était vos votes. Et j'avais bien annoncé que je ferais ça professionnellement et que je m'entraînerais bien et que je ferais de mon mieux. Et je vais le faire et j'espère que vous ne serez pas déçus. Et euh, je ferai de mon mieux pour euh, faire en sorte que la France aille loin sur ce tournoi-ci. Et euh, j'ai la foi vis-à-vis -vis de nos capacités à aller loin. La foi Nice La foi, la foi. Faith. Ouais. He has faith. He has faith in the French team and he, and he should have. He sounds you know. motivated and he sounds like he's not here to dick around. He sounds like he actually is like, all right, you know, I know that there is a lot of French players who would love to be in my spot. I'm Stefano, I would pretty much always get picked if I select myself, but since I am picked, I'm actually going to do my best. And I think it's really cool. It shows, uh, for a guy that has won as much as he did,
he doesn't have to take it serious, but he takes it serious because A, he wants to perform for himself, but also doesn't want to let the country down, the fans and the teammates. So I think yeah, it's really sure. good. It's even more important when it's like a team tournament, yeah. right? Because he's like, we're presenting France and we're all here with our baguettes. So if you want to fuck up in like a 1v1 tournament, it's yeah. okay. But like, if you like mm -hmm. fuck up for France, it's not cool, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but that's <laughs> that he's pretty mature. I mean, yeah. Stefan in the past, he, he wasn't exactly known for being the most mature out there, uh, most mature guy out there. But it's, uh, it's good to see that our good old Elias has grown up a little bit. Interesting statistic. Yes. Like, obviously, these two guys have a lot of history with each other. Nurture and Stefano, they played against each other a lot. Stefano has a winning record against Nurture, okay, like 65%. But 65 the last time that Stefano played against Nurture was... In the third place finisher of Nation Wars 2. <laughs> so it's in which he lost. Yeah. In which he lost. We eventually won it because we ended up uh, third place with Daishi just carrying, uh, carrying us in onto the victory. But that's a really amazing stat. The last time they played was in the same exact tournament not at the same stage but with kind of the same i would say considering the game that they are playing at with friends leading to one it's the same kind of uh, um importance in general when you put things in perspective do you think that the stefano that we are going to see today is a better stefano than one that we saw in nation war season two uh, it's a hard question to answer. Back I'm then, he was already a little bit like inactive, quote unquote, right? He, he was kind of retired at the time, yeah. and I don't think he cared that much about <laughs> the game. Like to be honest, he, he took the, the the position of captain really seriously. He was really good in interviews and everything, and I think he, it helped the French team in general. Yeah. But he wasn't playing that much, and I think his training, especially during the beta, is a little bit better than what he had in Out of the Swarm for Nation Wars 2. All right, let's not wait any longer. Let's do this. A great ZVZ between two European veterans. Elki, go for it. Yeah, so we, why, why do I always uh, get the Polish guy to <laughs> Okay, I can the Polish guy and you, you do Stefano. Okay, okay, okay but You know it. you have to scream for like at okay. least 15 seconds, Okay, right? 15 seconds? Okay. Yeah, 15. <laughs> Top left it. for Poland is the big boss, is Nurtu. And bottom right, in blue, for France and the baguette, the legend, Stefano! Stefano! Yeah. Wale. 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 Three more seconds, Stefano! <laughs> <laughs> Stefano already has so much gas compared to his opponent, so his opponent is like kind of going dead. All right. So sick. Stefano has so much gas already, it's like Imba, see? <laughs> Wale. Because of all these openings, I, or because of all the, ha the hectic that's going on in the studio here, like it always takes me a minute to actually look about what's <laughs> yeah. going on in the game. It's like, wait a minute, when did that spawning pool go down? Something is not right over here. So a very aggressive opening for Stefano, but Nurcio didn't go too greedy himself. So this is very similar to, let's say, Elaser versus so uh, Mini Razor, right? Where yes. they were both exactly. basically both doing the same thing. But one player just had two, three drones more. In that case, it was a laser. And it becomes very easy to defend when you do the exact same thing that your opponent is doing, but of two or three more workers. Because by the time that your opponent his forces run across the map, you will have those units as well. And you do it of more economy. So all you have to do is survive at first. So uh, I think it's important for Stefano that he does think about transitioning out of this opening, but it seems to be already the case. Yeah, he's squeezing a drone inside the production tab, which is kind of interesting. As you said, I think he's transitioning already. It's just, it just opens for the uh, possibility to be aggressive and have a really, really quick speed, which is really important pre on terraces. The second base is so wide open, you can be aggressive everywhere. So basically right now, both builds look exactly the same, kind of more, a uh, little bit more drones for Nurcio and a quicker speed for Stefano, but not that much action going on. Yet. Yeah, it's actually kind of good because Stefano is, uh, you know, his early pool is late hatchery. He forced out quite a few links, or in a weird way, Nurture just decided to make quite a few links. Yeah. Uh, but it's actually good for Stefano because it allowed him to catch up. And all of that, this is a mirror image. Stefano did stop mining gas for a while. He doesn't have enough gas for a bailing nest. Well, Nurture has already dropped his bailing nest. So there is a good chance that as soon as speed is ready for Nurture, he's going to try to make something happen with a couple bailings. Mm-hmm. He's got 10 Zerglings, Stefano, that is. He's going to try to uh, apply some pressure. Actually, eight more links. He needs to not lose that overall. It's going to be safe. Yeah. Maybe he can get cancel on that second base, but I'm not even sure. The metabolic boost is going to be there in 10 seconds. Yeah, it's going to be very hard for Stefano to make a whole lot happen with these links. But look at the uh, reaction that he's facing out from Nurcho. Spine Crawler, four defensive Bane links. Yeah. That is, that is really good for Nurcho. Yeah. I, I mean, if, if Stefano commits to the attack, he's going to be... Uh, well, I don't think he will though, so I think it's good for Stefano. Yeah, he blocked Oh, he's him. actually already yeah. holding forward, I'm sorry. 
I think Inucho was supposed to cancel that spine as soon as he realized that this aggression was not real, but I'm pretty sure the spine crawl has finished up. And now I feel like Nurcho has put himself in a position where he's going to have to make some plays soon because he's down three drones. Oh. He's sitting with a defensive oh. spine that he can't really do anything with. He has all these bailings here, and of course having a safety bailing or two is nice, but with four bailings... Oh, sick. Yeah, this is a good little... That's uh, a really back. good counterattack. Once again, we see the, the, the right-hand side of the map getting used to do some uh, counter-attacks, and I think Stefano is not going to be able to catch all those Zerglings. So just losing three drones right now and just going back like lower economy than his opponents. Yeah, but it evens things up a little bit, so I think it was a very important little counter-attack yeah, yeah, by Nurchi. Mm -hmm. what, do you think, what do you see happening with that Evo Chamber, which kind of a great plus one missile? Yeah, I, I think so. I think Are anything else... Are going to go like a Everybody loves their Roach Ravagers. Mm -hmm. I still don't exactly know it's like the perfect mixture between Roaches and Ravagers. Mm. All right. That's I not mean, really good. I uh, mean, Stefano is getting out, out microed right there. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit silly because Stefano has a lot of forces out on the map that are not really doing anything. They're not achieving anything. And he could have actually dealt oh, with sick. it so much uh, easier. Nurture is really making the best out of almost nothing. I mean, what was this? Like 12 Zerglings. And he Zerglings for five drones? Yeah, and a bunch of Bailings as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, gets a sixth drone as well. Now I kind of feel that Stefano, after ki picking up all these links, he will probably try to counterattack. But then that Spine Crawler that Nurcho had all along is suddenly going to be very, very useful. Yeah, yeah you can't really counterattack against the Bailings too, right? Because mm -hmm. he knows he has Bailings and it's... Okay, he's going to go for Carapace instead of the plus one missile, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to finish after, uh, after the plus one, so it's going to negate the plus one defense for, uh, for Stefano. He was actually supply block for quite a while, and that's not a really good situation for a French yeah. player right now. Not at all. The opening was good, I felt, for Stefano. I felt the first three minutes, everything was going well, but the counter attacks is really where Nurcho has pulled ahead in this game. Getting really worried right now. What is he going to do with that drone? Is he going to take a third base right now? We see the second Evo, so yeah, double upgrade links. Okay, interesting. That, that's a very cool style. I do love watching this style. I think it's awesome. Uh, we'll most likely transition into Mutalisk later as well. I mean, one of the best DVZs we've seen last year, I think, was between Zenser and Firecake on Bridgehead. Oh, yeah. And, like, that I game remember. was ridiculously cool. And that also was because I think Zenser was the one that were playing with the upgraded links. Nurture is going to try to counterattack here immediately and see if he can force a cancel on this hatcher. I don't think he will, but oh. the links are a little bit out of position. They will. For Stefano, oh, wow, and he will get the aye, cancel. Aye. Uh. He needs to fix his, uh, his uh, map control yeah, right he's now. He's getting owned by 12 Zerglings going on the right side. He needs yeah. overall the hair. Over, over, and over and over again, while Stefano had plenty of units to deal with this, not just with this attack, but also the counterattacks before. Just the links were out of position. Okay. Elki. Uh, yeah, that's kind of annoying. So that's kind of, that's kind of annoying. That's like super sick when you have enough unit to defend <laughs> and then just like go around like a... Uh, Aye. But yeah, he has no overall on the right side of the map, right? So it was like, it's like the second time that they, they didn't destroy that much now, but it's like the timing, I guess, is kind of important because he's going to be mining gold. Yeah, I'm sure he he's going to be mining gold earlier than Stefano. and then mm -hmm. He has like less lava, he yeah. has less gold to work with it. So and Especially uh, if you want to play an upgraded link style, I think uh, the, la the, the lava. lava. <laughs> the lava. No. The lava is extremely important. Yeah, it's like those little edge and it kind of snowballs like. I'm not even sure he can hold this. No. Like he needs so many Zerglings, but he doesn't have the lava. Once again, 18 Zerglings, but is that going to be enough? With the plus one melee and the plus one carapace, the Zerglings will actually yeah. defend those Banelings, but he needs to do something. No, uh, don't lose the Banelings like this. Very unfortunate pathing there. A couple of links are going to die immediately. And Nurcho is looking like a man on fire. He's indeed counterattacking, but there are Banelings, there are spine crawlers, there are plenty of roaches to deal with these Zerglings as well. And Nurcho, despite having perhaps a rough first or minute or two in this game has bounced back so strong and he's played another phenomenal game of starcraft yeah yeah oh, like sick. flawless flawless game 105 supply 47 for stefano to 20 drones more i mean he played him like a fiddle yep no just saying you may have won a couple games in wings of liberty but that was a different game right now in the legacy i am the better player and he is showing it this game that's for sure doubling the supply right now of stefano picking up a queen he's just getting phenomenal trades across the board and when you want to play an upgraded link style and your opponent has 20 supply more and he's playing roaches, yeah, there's, there's no holding it. This is no good. No good. And Poland should actually equalize that clan war 2-2 two to two as Nurcio is marching in the natural of Stefano. And uh, even though the hyper is real, the result is nuts. Uh, <laughs> Stefano is just uh, 
falling to a far superior Nacho right now. Yep, we knew that it was going to be a hard match for both sides. It didn't really matter. And even though Marino had a great start, Nurcio is bouncing back even stronger. And that means that our next match is going to be Nurcio against Lilba. That's going to be an incredibly sick PvZ. As to now, Nurcio is enjoying killing the last remaining drones of Stefano. GG. As GG is called. And Poland ties things up. So sick. Yeah, so sick. Uh, <laughs> so sick. <laughs> those things at the beginning, they were so sick. They did so much damage. Mm -hmm. Like, those, like, ten Zerlings going around. That was, like... The sickest thing is, like, Stefano had more yep. Zerlings, too. And then... Yeah, on that moment, Stefano was in a good position. It's just he had 20 links. They were just chilling on the north side of the map. And I guess Stefano was under the idea that there were no units out on the map. Exactly. So he's like, okay, I'm going to keep my links at the bottom of your ramp. If something is leaving, I'll just chase it down. But the links that were yeah. already out on the map really surprised him. I think uh, maybe a little bit too um, too aggressive in general. Maybe uh, just thinking he was too he, he had yeah too eager to be the, the one attacking because he was supposed to be the lesser player, and he got played because yeah he didn't have the vision. And we've seen that numerous time on this map, especially um, Bly, for instance, always goes for that fast uh, zergling attack and then mm -hmm. goes all the way around the overloads, and. That was kind. Of, that was quite hard for Stefano because he got beat down like pretty easily when he was on a decent position for the four, four or five first minutes. So, yep. kind of yep. sad for Stefano. It's not over two to two, and as you said, we're gonna have a rematch from Dreamac Lilbo against uh, Nurcio. They played in the group stage, and, and uh, won? Is, if I am not uh, mistaken, Lilbo won two one. Oh yes, Lilbo won because he lost against Majestic and TLO. Exactly, which was kind of weird when you think about it. But yeah. <laughs> Especially against Majestic, but... Uh, that moment when you beat a guy that wins the group. Yeah. And automatically get seated in the upper bracket while you're eliminated from the tournament. It's like, like <laughs> this is really weird, guys. So like, sick. Yeah. That's actually so sick. I was sick. doing so well. And that's basically flopping the nuts. And yeah. Still getting stuck that's like really sick. This, <laughs> game was, this game was really sick. I mean, I'm not so sure about ZVZ, but it seems kind of hard to go with only Zerlings too, right? I guess like yeah. Worchies and uh, Bendings. I, I, think think yeah, like, I think on that that's map in hard. particular and taking economic damage, like the idea behind uh, Stefano's style is that he gets an overwhelming amount of links, keeps uh, Nurture on two bases for a while while he's going up to three, and then he's just able to maybe get a favorable trade with well, like 1-1 one, one links. But I kind of feel that style always has to surprise your opponent a little bit mm -hmm. with the first move but like something that wasn't even needed now but normally is extremely useful when you go up against this style were the four bailings that he had early on like early on those bailings didn't do anything but the moment he moves out with the roaches it's extremely hard for links to engage roaches if there are yeah. four bailings rolling around as well because even though they have upgrades so they won't die at once well all your links are going to have like two hp so it's not good <laughs> no it's not good i mean yeah, basically, I think we can definitely say just Nurture was better than Stefano in this game. And on every single side of it, I mean, the decision making, the micro, the macro, we, we've seen that, that supply block at one moment that was really bad for Stefano in general. So he needs to pick it up and he needs uh, to go back to his captain side of things and just, you know, hype up for Lilbo to play that game against Nurture. And uh, as you know, uh, we did four games, which means we just casted two games. So we're going to go into a break, and then when we come back, it's going to be a ZVP for uh, who takes the lead, actually, between yeah. Poland and France. So don't go anywhere. Beyond the new Portland Nation Wars. <laughs> There's a chant of Lilbo going around here. I don't know if he's going to deliver, but he needs to. Elki. He is going to deliver for sure, man. He is. The honor of France is... Uh, is the honor of France. The honor of France is in his hands. <laughs> <laughs> like a baguette. You are the... You are... Unlucky, you are a bad charm. I'm never fucking lucky. I, I watch, I watch, and I like, I, I see France winning like six games in a row. Six games in a row. Six games in a row. I'm like so easy, right? And then I come and cast, and they lose two. Like what the fuck? So <laughs> like, never lucky. Never fucking lucky. And if they lose this one and the next one, it's all your fault. No, but they're not gonna lose, though, so it's okay. Okay, okay. Well, let's, hope, let's hope not. As uh, it's time for Lil Book. WCS champion, Korean Slayer, like yourself. You know, 20 years ago. Korean we used Slayer. To play. Let's go, yeah. And now uh, Lil Book's time to play. He's gonna do it, Tony. You have faith in Lilbo. You're French. You yeah, have of to. course. You have, you to have, have faith, faith in Lilbo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he had some pretty good games not too long ago against Jelong uh, in a tournament that took uh, over to that, that took place over in China. Yeah, I think yeah, it was yeah, Gold yeah. League. Yeah, yeah. And we saw some nice disruptor and massive right? timing. He crushed him three zero. Uh, the thing is, though, I think Jelong just didn't look that good at all. Whereas Nurcio has been looking good. First on the yeah. ladder, like that's got to. 
That's got to mean something for sure. He's yeah. practicing hard and he's showing in his games. Okay, well, we do have an interview with Lilbo, as we have every other player. So let's hear what he thinks about Nation Wars 3. Bah, Nation Wars, toujours un peu différent. Tu représentes euh, l'équipe de France plutôt que tu représentes uniquement toi. En fait, c'est tu vas à un tournoi pour euh, pour vraiment faire gagner la France plutôt que juste pour te faire gagner toi. C'est c'est un peu différent en fait. Il y a surtout beaucoup plus de stress euh, à mon avis. Mais c'est aussi beaucoup plus intéressant à jouer. Bah, il faudrait faire top 4 au moins pour aller à l'Olympia quoi. Mais sinon, je pense vraiment qu'on soit les meilleurs. Je pense que l'Allemagne et la Pologne sont un petit peu meilleurs que nous. Après, euh, je pense qu'on peut gagner le tournoi. Genre c'est possible, c'est pas non plus improbable. Mais c'est ça va être compliqué quoi. Bah c'est un nouveau statut qui est déjà perdu avec le TV en fait. <rire> Donc euh, honnêtement pas vraiment, genre j'ai pas tellement eu le temps d'en profiter, je veux dire je suis devenu le meilleur sur le jeu au moment où il commençait à. Enfin au moment où les tournois allaient s'arrêter donc euh... Bah, j'ai pas, pas vraiment pu en profiter, donc c'est un peu dommage pour moi. Quoi. Ouais, bah merci à tous ceux qui ont été pour moi, merci à Villegum, tout ça, vous connaissez la musique. Euh, à part ça, les fans français ont été globalement les plus, euh, les plus gentils avec moi après le petit drama à la BlizzCon, donc euh, à cause de ça, j'espère vraiment euh, pouvoir euh, proposer une, une performance acceptable à vos yeux. Quoi. All right, a very honest interview from uh, from Lobo. What, what do you think about Lobo? Yeah, but I think you should like. I mean, like when you this spot, you know, like normally you play by for yourself and stuff. But like when you're in spot, I think you're representing France in every tournament you go in, anyways. Because it's like it's like France, the really? yeah, because it's like the hope of the foreigner and the hope of France, right? Yeah, yeah. When you're like the only foreigner at the BlizzCon, it's kind of like you're representing France and the foreign world. Yeah, yeah. You play for too. France in a lot of games, right? Starcraft, yeah. poker. Yeah. Warcraft. Starcraft in WCG. Did uh, in WCG, yeah, in WCG, and, and someone, uh, I took second. What in, year uh, was that? Like two 2001, I took second, and then I got top four in 2002 as well. Nice man. And, uh, yeah, but it's awesome to play for France for sure. It's like so much more motivating. Yeah, yeah. WCG was like the tournament yeah. for, for everyone way back when. Because there was only like two or three Koreans too, so you, you can actually go far. <laughs> 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 well, uh, he's not playing. Lobo's not playing against a Korean now. He's playing against a Polish guy. So we'll see if he can win. So it should be a free win, right? It should be technically a free win. Yeah, he's a bit chubby in this picture. We we talked yeah, about that. It's pretty old. Uh, pretty fine. old picture. I don't think he's going to be too happy about it. But he said himself <laughs> in the interview, his closing words were, "I want to have an acceptable performance." And I'm sure by that he meant he wants to get at least a few wins. So one of those here against Nurcio definitely will help France uh, getting closer here to the victory in this match. All right, big game now for Lil Boat. Can he deliver the victory? Marine Lord's got six wins today. It's time for someone else to win for France. Because down here, in the bottom side, playing for France today. Lil Boat! Lil Boat! Lil Boat! Lil Bo. Lil Bo. Lil Bo. Playing as the blue, of course. Uh, uh, yeah, he's, blue. Blue. he's the Protoss and blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Todd, you do this, man. His opponent starting in the top side of the map. He needs to be stopped by Lil Boat. It is, of course, Nurcio. Nurcio. All right, it's really, it's really an honor to be casting with you, Elki. You're the biggest fish I've ever met. What so the? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys think about this matchup? It's pretty good. It's a pretty good matchup, I think. PVZ. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was watching the final of the Dreamhack where like Apollo was like saying nonsense the whole time, but the yeah. final, the finals themselves, they were pretty fun to watch. It'll be between Parting and Solar. <laughs> and yeah. Parting, Parting was yeah. like uh, was like rising at the at the hotel the night before. He was like, ah, yeah. it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> he was. Uh, he almost won too. That was so sick. That was really close. <laughs> And uh, it was really fun games. I like part partying style because it's kind of like going fucking all in, you know. It doesn't, yeah. do, it doesn't, it doesn't like, care. Like partying is like fucking. I just do this, and it just like takes a lot of risk. If, but if it's partying like, was a poker really player, it'd definitely be a degenerate. That yeah, all in, but like. it's also really dangerous and really hard to play against those guys because they're like uh, they're like fearless, and it's like yeah. takes a lot of risk. So like uh, that's exactly how Lobo plays too. Yeah, especially against like better, if, I guess, really good opponents like Solar. Yeah. You know, you have to take risks to win because Solar is just like so good. If you play like a standard game, it's not like you're going to be like uh, yeah. crushing him. It's harder. So when you take a lot of risks like that, it's hard to play against. can't be a nit against Solar. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> you, have to, you, have to, you have to gamba against Solar. <laughs> I think it's good for Nurtio that he takes this, uh, this outside base as first base here. Uh, because then he's going to be able to creep spread a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nurcio is a big fan of Mudas. Having played him recently yes. uh, yeah. on Legacy of the World Ladder a couple days ago, I can tell you he still loves his Mudalisks. So this might be the main goal here for him to go for those, even though on this map, but not necessarily be as effective as, as on some other maps. And also Lilbo knows that very well, which definitely can play in his favor if he were to try and scout it very actively, go for Stargates or even some kind of all-in before, because we've seen Lilbo in the past yeah. go uh, all out and all-in. Well, times. that's the way to deal with Museless, right? You either kill him before he gets there, or you start to play with Stargate and Phoenixes because they deal yeah. with them so well. Well, he sees, he sees he's playing against three hatch opening. Zealots being made, actually. Usually you go straight into... Okay, yeah, he's going to cancel. 
You go straight why into an adept kind of against Zerg. Why did he kind of why waste a little few seconds instead of? Probes? I mean, it's very few seconds. It's not. Uh, it's not as impactful as it would be in Heart of the Swarm. Yeah. You know, where you spend like a whole chrono boost that you're not gonna get for something else. So double adept here, which does one shot. The drones. Yeah. If you can get two adepts to a mineral line, usually you're gonna get quite a few drones and do a bunch of damage. Yeah, it Final hurts, man. Adepts, it hurt. <laughs> yeah, what race do you play? Adepts, yeah, Terran, yeah, the worst race. Oh, Never yeah. lucky. <laughs> Never fucking lucky. Because <laughs> I watched Terran, you know, and I was I was, uh, I was watching at the Dream Hack and like day two, I didn't watch any fucking Terran. So I was like, hey, what's up, Solar? How come there was no Terran? He's like, oh, Terran is the worst race. It's like, it's like bullshit race, can never win. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so he uses uh, Stargate. Adepts so hurt, yeah. Yeah, they do. And we'll, we'll, he might be able to get, well, he sh maybe not, but there's queens and, and six zerglings coming, so he should be okay. Ten zerglings. Ten. He's gonna go the warp prism, like the one the parting did against Solar the last game. That's pretty powerful. More adepts being yeah. made here, yeah. by the way. Usually, like, you go into adepts like this to force your opponent to go into zerglings, so he's not making drones. Well, is, he gonna, is he gonna teleport into the main? He does, yeah. and lings are waiting. Let's see if Ilbo can get a few snipes. He's gonna try to get away from there as well, but uh, he might take too much damage beforehand. Pretty good control there. Yeah. He? He's got four drone kills, five. Oh, sick. And he's now down here as well. He gets away. Well, I mean, just. Yeah, he has get away. Oh, oh no. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, so sick. Oh. Now so you can say it, Elki, so sick. Wow, so sick, you should type GG now. That's what you used to do. <laughs> that's, what, that's, what, that's what we used to do, actually. We were like, so you should be here, but you just like, it's like a sick crushing start. You know? <laughs> we're yeah. getting cleaned up a but, bit. But, but then, if he, then if he loses, it's kind of, it's kind of feels, bad. <laughs> feels bad. It feels bad if you type GG after like two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix I first, and then into Oracle. That's that's an interesting little twist. I didn't peg you as the offensive GG kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Well. Oh, Numatai Scarpe started, and he wants to drop. There is already an Evo, so Nerd Show yeah, yeah. could very well drop here down the line. Was he gonna drop Zerlings? Yeah. 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 Was he gonna get wrecked by Adept? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's the point? But the thing is, though, like, uh, not but every product. He's losing all his overlords anyway, yeah. so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Maybe, he, <laughs> maybe he wanted to get out with, like, some of his overlords, but what is he going to save? Like, not much. Yeah. This is weird. Well, he's or maybe he wants to, to do a big drop later with, well, like, Roaches and Ravagers. Well, one thing that Nurture hasn't found out is how many Adepts there actually are. He's got to be careful. They're, 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 they're right at the front door. And there's no he units was getting right units, now. I think. Yeah, he's got, like, 10 Zerglings, but that's not enough. Yeah. This could do oh, a bunch of damage. 20 is enough, though. Yeah, but he started them, I think, some of those just now. Little boy looking to try and do some economic damage there. Even if he loses this, as long as, long as he kills sick. enough. Now he needs to place himself between the spore and minerals, maybe. A, a nine oh, drones. Sick. He's like not uh, yeah, there is some in the natural as well. No. Oh, it's the Oracle. Oracle. Oh, oh the French sick. Oracle. In From the one the place there sick. was no spore. Everywhere, actually. Oh, he's got like 13, 14 kills. He's only got 38 drones. Little boy. Wow. Is Lilbo bringing the hype back for France? Wow, Lilbo! So Lilbo! Baguettes, Adets, and Oracle, that's all you need, man. Oh, so much kills. drones! That's so many kills, so sick. That's crippling economy damage. You can't lose 20 drones like that, especially when there's a third Nexus yeah. down. And and what's this counter attack gonna do? There should be wow, pilots so at the third sick. base. 25 drones. Oh. There should be multiple yeah, overchargers centuries. available. Like, Nurture, you're not gonna do anything with this, I'm sorry. Oh, this is really good news for Lilbo, and finally, Elki's getting lucky. The mouse yeah. is alive. Uh, finally, France is rising. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> good, man. Uh, that was pretty cool, though. It was like everywhere at the same time with a. Uh, with, uh, the adepts and like the pretty, yeah. pretty good yeah. micro. And knowing Lilbo from this position, like he realized how far ahead and off he is, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be seeing a bunch of gateways go down, a lot of Blink Stalkers and Disruptor, and, and then he can win. go for an attack. Yeah, yeah. and try to get the win. Infestation Pit though, not Spire, so it's not Mutalist, Infestors or something, maybe straight to Hive, or where do, where do you think he's gonna go? Oh, well, usually you would never see, uh, I think uh, Infestors make a lot of sense, unless Nurture wants to do something crazy, try to rush for a hive and pray that Nurture's gonna attack, but yeah, Infestors yeah. were the most likely option here, and uh, I think that's what he's gonna aim for. I mean, Nurture, is, he has a pretty good gas income. He's got six gases, yeah. like he's just taking his fifth and sixth right now. God, but Melee plus two as well. He's been hurt so much, you'd expect him to have a fourth hatchery down, and it almost been saturated by now, but he's been slowed down so Second much. Robo, by the way. Yeah, there's dead row balls, disruptors. Time to see some explosions. 
Lots That's weird though, because I thought that the elbow would drop down like a bunch more gateways, which yeah. he did, but then just attack with like a lot of blink stalkers and then disruptors out of one single robo. Hive is gonna start. That's so really by no And show. he's gonna spot it with the Phoenix too, I think, here. So he goes in, he sees Roach Speed on the way. I saw the natural. Uh, uh, he comes down. Is he gonna check it? Lilbo really putting in a lot of effort here into his cards. You need to know against Zerg what Zerg is going yeah, for. Yeah, I mean, if, if there was a Spire and if there was Mutalus, he'd be in trouble, right? Because he isn't quite ready for it. Yeah. So, Infestation Pit scouted, Hive spotted. Did you see the high for sure? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay. And fourth base now too. I think yeah, Lilbo was just attacking a second. Yeah. If Go it was something like Roach, Hydra, Lurker, I think taking a fourth base would be really good. But I think right now, even though he's got so much minerals, what are you doing, Lilbo? Spend your money, bro. Yeah. Spend it. There you go. Nice Get some money. of those stalkers. Spend it like Elki earns it in <laughs> poker. <laughs> 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 yeah, so I just spent it. That's funny. <laughs> oh, no, he's stuck, is he? Yeah, yeah it might be. Yeah. Oh, the war prison has to fly back. Oh, no, cancel one pylon on the left. Yeah, just, what are you doing? Never so lucky. sick. Never fucking lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Picks up a Ravager, and upon seeing the hive on the way, he wants to take a fight, and that is not a big Zerg army. Sadly, disruptors would yeah. do a lot here. Oh. Lil Bo uh. actually has 79 army supply against the 68 of Nurcio, so. Uh. Uh oh. The French stream is definitely not rising right now, LK. No, what? the French the stream is, is falling, man. Oh, so sick. <laughs> so why, why, do, why do you think Nacho should have done to defend uh, against the Adept early on? Uh, Just better, better micro, more links, better control? More yeah, he needed yeah. to see it coming. More links. Uh, he didn't see it coming. He, yeah, his queen's in better... He didn't see the second wave, right? Like well, the, the seven is, of them? Yeah, the Adept's got a bunch of kills, but it's really the Oracle, because there was no spot that did a lot of kills as well. Over 10, I think. If he only had lost a bunch of drones on the yeah. Adept's, it wouldn't be the end of the world. But the Oracle plus the Adept's killing this many drones, that's really what put him very far behind. Yeah, yeah. He didn't, he just didn't. The thing is, is the Phoenix, Phoenix into Oracle throws you off a little bit, because you don't really expect to see an Oracle come second. You expect continued Phoenix production, or at least or yeah, yeah. something else. Maybe right? that threw him off. Yeah. Like he saw one Phoenix, he's like, hey, it's going to be the four or five Phoenixes, yeah. like the usual. He probably thinks I'm going to go Muta, and maybe I wanted to, but in this case, the yeah. Oracle was just genius. Yeah. You can't skip uh, a Spore against a Stargate no matter what. Nurture tried to cut a corner, and he got punished for it. And now it really looked like Lilbo was about to go for a, I think a push that's going to be hardly stoppable. Like there was quite a bunch of disruptors, like maybe like three. The fungal is going to be super. If fungal and bile from the Ravagers can land properly, then maybe he has a chance to hold. But he was looking pretty good for Lilbo, man. He is looking pretty good for Lilbo. I don't guess surrender, so. don't surrender. You no, it's, it's over, man. No, you can't surrender, it's man. It's crashed. I never, never surrender. surrender. Never surrender. Never surrender, man. Never surrender. What the oh, what? Uh, I don't know what's going on. Don't yes. surrender, scream the French. <laughs> no, man. You guys aren't surrendering. You got Lilbo. Ever. Lilbo, man. Yes. Lilbo. You heard what Mana said in the interview, by the way? What did he say? He said that we're going to uh, we're gonna wave the white flag. What the, the hell, man? <laughs> oh, we're back in. We're back. We're back. Hey, we're ready. We, what are you doing, Apollo? Oh, you're I, I fished out, man. But we're Oh, you fish out so hard. So sick. <laughs> Sorry, okay. man. I'm sorry. Lilbo's got so much money. Hey, he went back home. He can't go back home, by the way. There might be all trust on the yeah, way in a minute. He needs to attack now. I think uh, he's just waiting for his disruptors then. Go, go, go. Come on. But don't disruptors make uh, Ultra 2? Uh, well, if I you mean, have a lot of them, yeah. If you can land the, the shots, but it's realistically, it's very, very hard. And now there's fungals that are going to be built up uh, with the energy of uh, the investors. He, so. he is giving Nurture a chance, though, right now. No, no, no. I mean, if he attacks just when the Ultra Discovery finishes, that's the perfect timing because then all the Ultra are not on top. Oh, the revelation didn't land here. Yeah, but I think, okay, Lilbo saw how small this army was in comparison to he's his. He's got to go. Yeah, he's going to go. He's it's, gonna he has to go. Going, this is going. a win going, if man. he just attacks. It's the going. fungals are going to have to be massive for Nurture if he wants to hold, but Lilbo is looking pretty yeah, darn good right now. His disruptors are going to blow everything up. It's pretty sick. The warp prism yeah. to reinforce as well, unless he can one-shot that. It's going right. to be great. Well, right, I'll trust in production. The they're on the way. They're, it's go time, Lilbo. That's going to mess everything up for Lilbo. Fortress come in. He's got to attack. Taking his time. Eight more stalkers. Yeah, he's going to be maxed out in a second. In, yeah, and he can't yeah. even reinforce in the fight. Fungals. All right. He sees the infestors. Disruptors. <coughs> Detonations are going to be key here. Are you ready, Elki? Well, Let's Elki. go. We're, We're ready. Gonna go. France is going to rise. Hallucinated <laughs> Archons. Going. Fake Archons. This is if I fight. So these two. Uh, okay. Disruptor ball going in number one. Decent start. One up. Just going to go down for free. Nice. Yeah. For free. GG, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's at the time. You should type it, Lilbo. Like, Look at this. He's waiting for him to I mean, come down he's here. He's already maxed out, and he can even remake more. Oh, oh, huge boy, detonation. Shit, so sick. And is nice. he going to be okay here? Is he going to be able to take this fight, take this win? It looks like if he continues to warp in, of he's going to win it. 
He's winning it for sure, man. Links are doing a lot of damage. The Ultras aren't dying very fast. Yeah, the Archons are going to tank a little bit at the front right now. Lilbo's trying to pull back here with the Blink. Yeah, but the fake Archons, actually. Uh, there's no Kaitinus plating for the Ultras. They only got plus two melee, but zero armor upgrades. Three more of them on the way, though. Lilbo has to back off. That wasn't the best fight ever there. That was pretty... That was okay. I mean, yeah, not the best ever. Oh, he's going into third Robo. Colossus oh, and Immortal in production, Templar Archive. I think Lilbo's just going to take yeah. a fourth. I mean, he did Max Lilbo out. Fourth. Yeah. And then step on Nurture's face before yeah. he can get Brutal Lord. Step on his face. Punch him right in the face. All right. What? I think it's a little laggy, perhaps. Uh, yeah. uh, that's probably why you, you didn't crush the fight. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the, it sounds like there's a bit of a problem with the French stream, so it's going to fix that. But that, that was... So that fight, Lilbo sits up, he, he spreads up, he sits down, he's ready to, for Nurture to come in. Was that the right thing to do there? You like that? He looked right, but then at the end, it like, didn't look as right. It looked like he was crushing, and he had, pretty good, he had pretty good growth. Yeah, he had pretty decent ones. The first two ones, they were yeah. okay, yeah. I think. And it's very hard like to land them properly in this kind of fight. Remember that disruptors do friendly fire as well. Like, if you can't really, like... Yeah. Oh, they do? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You can't use them on your own stalkers and be like, oh, they're going to blow up the Zergling. No, they're going to blow up your stalkers as oh, well, so you need to so land sick. them, like, perfectly. Yeah. But I, I, I still think if he attacked earlier, just... 15, 20, 30 seconds earlier, right before Ultralisks, yeah. then it's over. Well, the thing is, though, he would have had to go up the ramp at, anyway, which Nurture was waiting for. So Nurture, in that regard, he played it perfectly. He yeah. let uh, he let Lilbo kill his fourth. Yeah. Maybe Lilbo could have spread out a little bit better, made sure the fungal didn't land as huge, and reinforced a little bit better from uh, from his warpers. He also had quite a bit of minerals. Maybe he could have already launched up the third Robo in advance, knowing it's Ultras, and yeah. the fourth base. But right now... If Lilbo's given a little bit of time, if he gets enough Immortals, if he maxes out with Archons and Immortals, yeah. I think he's going to be in a great position to take on this army of Nurture. So it feels like Nurture is going to be the one to try and make something happen yeah, here. Maybe I can attack. Three base versus three base. And Lilbo needs a fourth now because he has to have money to be able to build Immortal, Colossus, and Archons yeah. and stuff. But doesn't that open up an opportunity with the current Ultralisks to attack in? There is, but it's I think... It's hard to attack in, no? I mean, I yeah, it's hard, like, but it's, it's possible. Hard. The thing, though, is... If uh, Nurture does, then Lilbo can maybe cancel that force and then pull back inside the natural, where yeah. he's going to have a bunch of photon overcharge to help with the fights, and then Nurture couldn't attack. But the real risk right now, I'm pretty sure, like Lilbo, I would be very confident if I was him, especially if he realizes that uh, there was no Spire made, right? No, no, no. The only threat right now to Lilbo's army and the army he's going to go for is Broodlords. If he can max out yeah, on Archons yeah. and Immortals, he's yeah. going to steamroll Nurture, even though Ultras are pretty sick. Yeah, but we, we, we also the cinematics, the Archon are just like <laughs> crushing the <laughs> Ultra. Yeah, yeah, yes, that's what we're going to see. Oh, it's a draw, yeah. it's a double KO though, right? Uh, yeah, but it feels like a victory for the Protoss anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's all about that mindset, it's positive. <laughs> yes. So from what I can tell is the French stream completely died. So all the, okay. all the Frenchies uh, have come over here. So like bon bonjour, <laughs> bonjour. Um, bonsoir. Bonjour. I think bonsoir, he tries on bonsoir, purpose bonsoir, to be bad at languages. No. Nobody would say bonjour. Actually, yeah. actually I, know, I know his Korean is bad. He's just bad, man. <laughs> He's just bad. <laughs> it's I like okay. how it's just I'm the punching bag for Elkie. Like whenever he's like, you know what, I'm going to pick on someone. I'm like, all right, who's it going to be today? Well, where is he? Well, I mean, who's the guy? See the ball out there. He is. Oh, you fish! Who's the guy who was saying like bonjour? Or like, what the fuck? I was you. you. <laughs> it's like, hey. Before I, I Dreamhack tours, I told him to make a video uh, like, you know, <laughs> welcome to Dreamhack in tour, and he said, bien le vu. Bien le vu. <laughs> Instead of bienvenue. Yeah, but well, I messed up. <laughs> well, lucky. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm never lucky. I can't speak French, but. Uh, but yeah. it's okay. One day, you'll one day you'll learn Nation Wars 12. Maybe maybe <laughs> you know, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe you can maybe you can pop out a bonsoir. <laughs> <that like>, uh, <laughs> All right. Looks like we're gonna go back into the game, so we can continue to see if Lilbo can change the the Polish momentum, and hopefully he can. So here we are. So he's gonna take his fall. In pretty good shape to change it, I think now. Looks like the Minerva might want to attack, even though he's retaking the fourth base. Actually, his upgrades are not finished yet. Oh, plus three on. plus three melee is not finished. Yeah. And it looks like actually. Also, Lilbo might not have any plan to pull back here, but he's going to have a triple overcharge. He's not pulling finals. back. Fuck it, we don't pull back, man. No, <laughs> we don't, don't, don't pull back. back. We, we never retreat. Back. Never we fight. Retreat. Here we go. Has he got enough, though? That's the big question. Pylons, obviously, are, are very powerful. I mean, he needs his four ba fourth base, though. I mean, can we? Archons are sick, though. They're going to destroy yeah. the lings that run in. Yes. And so many mortals in production, it feels like Nurture has to attack now, unless he wants to turtle to Brulot, but I'm pretty sure he would be attacked before by a maxed out Lilbo. Oh, oh this is drop. Cool. So he's going to drop in the main base to distract and then attack into the fourth with this. 
This could be really sick. Depends on how well Lilbo is going to deal with the links. Oh, what what is he dropping? Is he only links? Yeah, it's only links, yeah. Yeah, Photon of a Charge can deal with that. Wait, he's using it down here. Yeah, but he, I mean, he's got seven more. <laughs> <laughs> well, he needs to get back then. Oh, oh Nurture is trying to force Lilbo to attack into him, but at the same time, Lilbo's he's going to be dropping in the main in a second. The Immortals come into play here. But it's like uh, Nurture is not doing anything really here. No, yeah. just like doing gateways. Units. Evacuate. Oh, actually, this base is mined out. Well, Lobo well. sees this. Drop inside his main base. This is is just there. This can come back. Yeah. The warp in the units and Whoa! Nurture's going to attack into the fourth base here. The Immortals are coming down from the high ground. They're going to deal with the Ultras really well. And that is a bad fight. He has to back off yeah, and get out losing, of there. Yeah, Lilbo is losing some stuff in the main, but not that much, I think. Yeah, the natural's going to be exposed, though. Yeah. He's already killed 20 probes, though. Yeah. We, I mean, th those were the ones in the main, which kind of sucks. But right now, the army of Lilbo is what we need to be looking at. 109 army supply against 104. Oh. And this is looking very scary This here. could be the fight that decides the game now between the two of them. Us. And here we go. The Blink Stalkers jump out one Archon at the front. Oh, that's this okay. is the Archon from the, from the trailer. Level. Yeah. <laughs> right this is the Archon he's going to sacrifice for the photos so they can <laughs> retake <laughs> Iowa. Look at him. See? He's no sure, no sure knows. Trip. He's so scared of it. He's like, oh. can't can get near the Archon because he knows. Here's the backup. The backup Archons. He knows Neural that. Parasite on the way, but he doesn't have that many infestors. And Greater Spire is starting. Dude, there is a timer on Lilbo here. Seven more Ultralists. There's so many more Ultralists. Yeah. He has, a, he has like, a lot. I think Lilbo like. shouldn't attack yet. He should regroup, get more Immortals. Oh. If he stays in this very good concave here, he's going to be fine. Archons and, uh, Archons and Immortals are going to... Yeah, they're yeah, yeah but like, there's just so many ultras that Oh, he's work. trapped! He's gonna have to fight! He's been trapped! He's got fungled! And he's, he's gonna have to fight whether he likes it or not. And these ultras are not dying, Todd. They are yeah. dying. Well, some of them are dying. <laughs> <laughs> because... <laughs> oh, and Lilbo's gonna Is be it? reinforcing in the fight with the War Prism. Nurture on the retreat. He's trying to get more ultras and zerglings, but Lilbo might be able to do it here with this army. He's got quite a few immortals still. Oh, I think he's doing it. Again. Yeah, he's doing it for sure, man. Archons are... See, he has like a really good uh, unit composition against Ultra, actually. It's like perfect. France, man. France! Gonna go 3-2. Here we go. We're gonna have one more fight. He goes in again. All the he's pulling the boys. He's, he's pulling, pulling the, the drones. Boys. Is it Lobo's gonna hold this fight, this position? He's but doing he's it. Two oh. Ultras are left. Yes. One single Ravager behind. Oh, my God. It's... Lilbo! 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 And, he, and he has to back off again. Lilbo continues to push forward, and is he going to put France up 3-2, to two, forcing out the ace player from Poland? Just bring back, homie. Not much left, Oh, the though. Archon's there. Not much left. I mean, Lilbo still has a force. He yeah. can just pull back and be fine. There is no more threat of Broodlords because Nurture is broke. He lost a lot of probes, but still. He lost his whole stack like a fish. No more money, man. Yeah, no, it's definitely uh, fish. I mean, uh, Lilbo lost his probes, but uh, Nurture lost his, lost his base, so... Oh, all right, so Nurture is scrapping around now to find out some way back into this. Drops. But it seems like Lilbo has a much better unit composition. Like, not sure yeah. he's making Zerlings, man. It's been, it's like, minutes 15 and he's still making Zerlings. It's Does Lilbo have no upgrades, by the way? Uh, no. No? <laughs> That's actually kind of bad. Uh, That's why, uh, actually, like... It's okay. It's Portos, man. I'm so happy I'm just casting yeah, <laughs> There we go. Drop inside the main now. This will do a little bit. Not too much. There's he has not no really upgrades, much to kill. He has, like. he has no upgrades, but he has Archons against Zerling, so that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> and here you go. Stalk is coming in to clean. So I might be able to jump forward in a second, though. What? There you go. Well, there's an empty overlord. I'll try us with 3-3 three, three upgrade against Protoss unit 0-0. Zero, zero. So does Lobo just try to... Well, I mean, when is the right time to go at this moment? How does he? Does he yeah, want to yeah, I mean, he, he's completely? got more army right now, but is it enough? He should yeah. be really against just four ultras. Like, but it feels like he needs to attack, but there is enough infestors to maybe be a threat to his army. So he yeah. might just turtle and rebuild probes. Wow. It's pretty close. It's pretty close actually. It seems like uh, Lilbo was crushing every fight, and then he's not really yeah. winning as much. Imagine if Stalkers could blink into the wall prison. <laughs> 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 Well, he's caught. He's maybe, caught. maybe next extension is what's going to happen. It's like the siege tank, drop siege tank. He's <laughs> going to be like <laughs> blinking in the war prism. Starcraft uh, 4. Dude, soon they're going to have all the units that can blink. Every unit blinks. Archons are going to be blinking everywhere. They're going to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> all right, plus well, one started, by the way, for Lilbo. Like he's, like, he's like, oh yeah, upgrades. That's the thing in Starcraft. That definitely could help. But I'm really worried about Nurture. Oh, nice! Yeah, if Nurture was to reach Broodlords, I think it'd be very dangerous to Lilbo. 
clearly. I, I'm pretty sure as well, though, like from a Zerf perspective, at this point, you are so scared of attack at any moment, and it's so risky to try and go up to oh, Blue Lords. <laughs> uh, All right, man. I think, yeah. Uh, the, Does Lilbo when I attack? These can be a problem. There's that's, a lot of infestors. That's what I'm wondering about. Does Lilbo when I attack? Because he thinks he has enough immortals here. Yeah. There's so many infestors. Yeah, that's a little. How do you get rid of the infestors? Can you do anything against it already? I mean, you can't really go to the back line and like kill them. So you need to kind of like weather the storm. I you win. Uh, one good thing that you can do is maybe recall. Let them use a bunch of fungals and then recall before you yeah. take too much damage and then go for another fight. But if you stay there for a long time. There is no actual like proper units other than a high templar that like, could feedback. Do Elki would. If Elki was Lobo, he'd fill that wall prison with high templar. Oh yeah, he'd drop behind and feedback all of them. Feedback them all. Feedback them all. That's what Elki would do. That'd be a sick move. That's how you would do it. <laughs> because you're, you're sick, sick, man. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the <laughs> fungal it doesn't work against archons, right? No, it works against it? everything. But it only takes out their life. It holds them down and does a little damage, right? Yeah. It can get everything. Corruptor is now going to be in production. Actually, Blinding Cloud right. Fungal is very dangerous here because if you land it on a bunch of Immortals like this, they're not going to be attacking. They're going to be I held mean. in place and not going to be attacking. So, Lilbo, if he wants to attack, he's going to oh, need a very good position. Oh, a good spot oh, oh, let's do this! So let's do this, yeah. Yeah. Oh. That was great! Wow, Lilbo put a sick trap here. You know, for <laughs> <laughs> that was a good trap, though. Like I don't know if it was a trap <laughs> as much as he wanted to attack. Yeah, Blinding Cloud him, Fungal yeah. Yeah. in this position could be deadly here. Oh. Slowly move, pushing forward. Yeah, one fungal gets like two fungals. Lil Bo's got way more. much more armies to play. 121 to 105, but Blinding Cloud Fungal here. All right, here's the start. Well, actually, he's, he's wasting a bunch of fungals here. Oh, on the he's got a fungal now. A couple of the immortals. He's taking control of two of them as well. And two Archons. They're going to fight for the Zerg. No! And here we go. Who's going to win this? The Blinding Cloud is really good at the north as well. Oh and my Lilbo. god. That's pretty bad now, actually. I think it's really well. Uh, oh my god, it's... Is there enough? The Ultras go down. Well, he's losing the new Parasite now, but the Ultras are still around at the back. And Lilbo turns around to fight them. What he's the gonna really bring them down pretty fast. There's no more Ultras. They're gonna die. One last hit. No! Oh, no, what the... It's safe to Lilbo's No! Jeez! Oh, oh, goes up 3-2. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Those infested Terrans, they got him. That's crazy. Oh, the infestors. Oh, oh my god, no. this concave was so bad. This position was so bad. Oh. Whew! He needed to keep his stalker. I guess the fungal on the stalkers was actually brilliant because that was the only unit that could blink to the back line and snipe the infestors. Yeah. So now that made sure that oh. the neural parasites was not going to be countered here. Yeah. That was wow. sick. Oh, man. That was In Elki's favorite quote. So, so sick. sick. Man, if he's like, if he was winning every fight and then he lost. That's Bad like beat, man. Oh, <laughs> it's the like same as poker. Sometimes you make every right move and then the fish. And then the last mistake, out. I guess, like the last fight, he was kind of out of position and it like yeah. means a lot. When you like engage oh. out of position, it's the thing really is, hard to. It, he was in good position before Infestors came in the game because it's better to be in that position because the Ultras can't wrap around. But then when he's still in that position, the Infestors come in. It's totally over. Like. So who's going to be coming out now? Oh, Marine Lord? Three games in a row. Marine Lord or Lil Ball, right? I think, yeah, it's th these are the two likely. I mean, Stefano was, let's be honest, not very good in this game against yeah, Nacho. Yeah. Uh, thanks for sending your tweets. Um, this is a, obviously a Polish fan. Thank you. I don't know what that is. Is it like a heart rate, I guess, man? Your, your heart beats going fast, man. Yeah, do you France all in puts my pulse at 123. Oh. Uh, I, well, I guess the good thing is that Libo didn't type GG when he kills the uh, when he kills the 20 <laughs> At least, at <laughs> least we have to we have to see the. Whoa. Hello, hello. Hold oh. on a second. Where's Rory? <laughs> 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 Already tweeting back at her and the her. <laughs> at L underscore Sunny. Oh, two French esport legends. You see, they come nice out French flag too. Oh. Yeah, because you can't even speak French. Warcraft 3 and If only I was uh, half the man Helki is, <laughs> I'd be happy. <laughs> but I'll take it. Score, just another fan. Some uh, some crisps, a cat and a beer. Nice cat. Yeah, nice cat, man. <laughs> nice Elki cat. said nice cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so close. That was a pretty exciting game, though. With a lot of fighting yeah. and really close. It feels like uh, a lot of the games in uh, Legacy are really close. They're, pretty, they're all exciting to watch. Yeah, like. It's really fun. But friends keep losing when you're casting, man. Yeah, yeah. three games can we, now. Can we swap Elki out? <laughs> <laughs> what the f uh, just kidding. But this, game was to, this game was supposed to win, yeah, I yeah. think. I don't know. It was a really oh. great start, too. He had like a pretty strong... Strong oh, start and strong yeah, in the he, game. Like, he and killed he so like many drones, to be honest. It feels almost as if like he should have been able to finish it after that, no matter what. Like, he, he killed so many up. drones, and then he was like, he had pretty good like uh, unit composition against Ultra one time. Uh, he had like the perfect yeah. like 
I think with all the immortals and the yeah. stalkers and you know what I mentioned he could have done a timing pre ultra timing I think that could have worked but yeah. he just waited too long he waited way too long but he even, after, to even after the ultra it seems like he was winning like when uh uh, when Rocio tried to attack his, uh, yeah, his, yeah. his fourth base, then like uh, he defended pretty well, and then after that he could have counterattack and win. Maybe I don't know. It seems like his unit composition at the time was stronger before. Like there was like. But the thing is though, the unit that made the fight close, the first big one when Lilbo was maxed out, is the Ultras. If there hadn't been Ultras in that fight, Lilbo just aces it. So I do think that if he had attacked one minute earlier, he would have been able to finish it. But. You don't have all the information in StarCraft, yeah. that's the thing. It's kind of easier to watch too, it's as easier to know what you, they should do when you like see everything on the map and yeah, stuff. Yeah, for sure. So now, who is it going to be, boys? Who do you think? I know who it's not going to be, Stefano. But uh, Lil Bo or Marine Lord here. Okay. Wh who are you feeling, Elki? It feels like Lil Bo's game was closer. Like Lil Bo's game Lil Bo was, like, was like Super close to have it. Uh, I don't know, but I don't know. I don't know about the map. Does the map make a big difference? Yeah, yeah. it can. It can for sure. Like yeah. there is a few maps out there that can be really tough. Uh, let me check. Uh, <laughs> I know. From, 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 from like our oh point of can, view, yeah, yeah. It, feels, it feels like the game uh, Lil Bo against Nurture was much closer than the Marine Lord one. It, it depends but because he also Lil Bo needs to play a Protoss versus Protoss if he wins anyway. Because we might see. Well, would he see Manor again? It might just be Nurture all the way now. All right, here's the decision. Stefano, team captain. Who is he choosing to play? Choosing player. Runes of Seras. I think it's okay to send Lilbo. But Lilbo has to, he's going to have to probably play against Nucho again, right? If yeah. So. I think Runes of Seras. Lilbo. Uh, both are okay. Lilbo or, or Marine Lord. Lord. But I think Lilbo is fine. Lilbo. Lilbo! Lilbo to carry the French flag. He must win every game. I, I, I feel like, remember like this one time I kept referencing my ladder games and like he was... There was hidden brags in there about the fact that I won. As of late, when I do that, I've lost every game. So I've played Nurture recently on Runes of Seras, and that was the one time that he went for Mutas, and that he was pretty good. So mm. this time around, I wouldn't be surprised if he go for something like this, like some kind of Roach, and of Roach, Link, Ravager to be safe into Aspire and Mutas, which can be on this map, like especially in cross map, and it was, it's so good. Mm. You just fly around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, big moment now for Lilbo then. So uh, I mean, it's, it's gone a bit silent in the O Gaming Studio now because before it was loud, it was a party, there was music going on. France destroyed Australia 4 0. They're winning 2 0 <laughs> versus Poland. And then guess what happened? I can't. Elky showed up. <laughs> <laughs> and now they've lost three games oh, in a row. Man. <laughs> no, but maybe maybe they just want uh, you know they just want to give Poland the chance and like some suspense. It's kind of fun because there's like a you know, it's like pressure and it's like yeah. exciting moments when you're like 4-0, 4-0, it's just like, it's kind of cool, but it's like less exciting for people who watch now, it's like... Okay. Yeah. Maybe they're like getting like nervous because they know you're watching. <laughs> they want to impress you, okay? Yeah, <laughs> you're making them nervous. Uh, Lil Bo was pretty impressive with his added micro the early, yeah. early on. He did yeah. really, really well. Yeah. It's going to have to be clean here. There's a chance he also does an all-in or four-player smap. Would Ruins it be the of first has a lot of uh, blink uh, all-in potential, right? Because the way you can jump into the main and down to the third. And yeah, but I think like blink all-in is like very hard to pull off. Okay. Uh, I was thinking more of four gates on one base. Really? That yeah. that crazy? Or if even something with the robo and a warp. Is I it? think Lilbo, from knowing he's he's a confident little guy, I think he. I think he'll play a longer game. I don't yeah. think he'd do a risk like that. I don't I can't wait to get four gate. And yeah, maybe, maybe you're right, bro. Maybe you're right, man. On this map, the thing is, though, if you go four gates, you're hoping your opponent won't scout you first. And uh, in this case, he won't be scouted first, but it's vertical oh. close. Introduction starts. You first, man. No, it's the Okay, it's the I'll do the Polish you guy. The Polish Fine, guy. okay. French people. Down here to the bottom right hand side. Spawning in as a red zone player. Representing Polish Lucio. That was my best red eye impression. <laughs> I tried my best. All right, Elki. In the oh. bottom. It's the bottom. It's the top. What? It's the top. It's top. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, oh, <laughs> top right corner. We have the blue player from Millennium, the home of France, and Lilbo. 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 All right. Can Opening with it. a cheeky gateway. A cheeky. Are, you, are you feeling it? The four gate of one base. Adept, my adepts, mate. Adepts, you love adepts. And if he goes three hatch again, it'd be really nice, man. What is it? He's gonna go for a scout, a cheeky scout. A cheeky scout. No cast just yet here for Lilbo. So he might just go for an Exos here behind this. Yeah. And gonna be scouting horizontal spawns first. 
There's a, I think if I, who was I casting with? I think maybe Snoo or it was Drogo. It was Snoo or Dreamac or Drogo here. Said that like um, Zergling attacks are really, really good. Like Zergling speed attack very early on. Like life, very good. Like, like what life did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like yeah life I, did I saw life for yeah. Gazebo and this yeah. one, they seem pretty effective. Yeah. <laughs> but Nurture is not open with, uh, I don't think like, with the speed timing he's going to get now, it's very hard for him to do damage unless he goes drop. Which, guess what? He did do la the last time I played him, so... Oh, he's going preserving too, right? Yeah. Pretty yeah. fast yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. So, fast one. The, the thing, I don't know if you're aware of this, Elki, but... In Legacy of the Void, if you make an evil chamber, then you can morph an Overlords, and it's pretty cheap as well. And then that Overlord can already drop, so it's very oh, early into the game. it's like uh, winning one Overlord one by one, right? Yeah, and then, so, a, an evil chamber costs... 75. Only 75 and only takes 25 seconds oh, to yeah, build. Oh, yeah, so actually, Solar did one game again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it seemed yeah. pretty good, actually. Yeah. Yeah. It costs nothing, right? Yeah. Almost. Yeah. And then, uh, like, yeah, like I said, 25 seconds for uh, an Evo, 11 seconds to morph an Overlord. That's a very like short time. So you let speed get be close at about to finishing. yeah, close to yeah. finishing. You start that, and then you drop slings into the main. You are harassed all over the place. When you're in trouble, you can even evacuate. Yeah. Because obviously there's going to be a bunch of overcharges. So and you don't have to you don't have to like uh, invest that much in a drop because you can just like make like eight or yeah, yeah, you can do yeah. a lot of damage and then you keep making drones anyway. So, so we just like say if he builds that ev evolution chain. Yeah. Right now it seems like Nurshom might just want to expand one more time. Yeah. No Evo. But no Ilbo should know about that, right? Ilbo will know. Well, uh, the thing is, though, even like you need to kind of anticipate it really badly because you need a pylon in a position where the Overlord is going to be dropping. But uh, right now, even though Ilbo doesn't have one, I guess he doesn't need to be worried about it. No, he's going to chase his circle. Oh, Evo. There it is. There's the drop. There's the drop play. So he's going to try yeah. and drop from here. Not necessarily, but could be because it's pretty it late. To be. It has to be because there's not enough gas to get an upgrade. So it doesn't make sense to build it, right? Doesn't make any sense to build. Yeah, heat. true. Uh, yeah, so actually, I yeah, started mining again, but yeah, it seems. It's all, it's not, not that he's making a bunch of things. It's for sure. You're right, Apollo. Yeah, badly timed Evo if it wasn't for a drop. So, uh, all right. So one, Adept's having a scout. He does spot the third base. So he knows that Nurture's on three bases, but he doesn't Glory know that he could get dropped at yeah. any moment. Actually, seeing his opponent on three bases might be a little bit of a. Yeah. Might, might lead him to misbelief. Oh, actually, the, the Adept's getting caught on the map by quite a few links. Yeah, so I think yeah, he, 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 I think he is gonna realize maybe. Let's yeah, see pylon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so he's moving the probe. So there he we go. He sees, he sees, so he is he gonna finish going on, on time though? No. Pick up and drop it off. Oh, nice sick. and fast. Oh, an is. elevator of links as well. Oh, really overcharge fast. not gonna be available on time. And the pylon is gonna come down to overcharge. in the main mineral line. And he's pylons. got no units. He's got no units right now. He's got the mothership core here. That's it. The pylons are finishing just in time. There's another one activated. Photon overcharge. He's coming into the natural probe line. Where's the adept? There's none. There's one over there. Use that one. He I guess he doesn't want to lose it. Yeah, he's leaving them in the wall. In case there's more coming. But there's one in the rank. Oh, oh, I missed it. So Nurture's sick. running circles around. Nurture doing a whole bunch of damage. And behind this, he's going to be able to drone up as much as he wants. But he's getting more links. That's actually not very good by him, I think. Yeah, he should be droning a lot heavier. But it, Is he going to all in? Maybe he saw or is a little bit worried about the, the high amount of no, he's uh, droning up. gateways. I mean, he's seen four gateways. I think, yeah, Nurture's macro behind this wasn't that great. Mm. The thing is, though, Nurture is already in, in a comfortable enough position, having done damage, to go for maybe Roach into Mutas, which I talked about before. Yeah. So yeah. we'll see. Well, another drop's going to happen now inside the main base again. It's not finished yet. Imagine if one Overlord like loaded up an entire army there. Yeah, six Roaches start. He might just keep on doing this elevator. And since there is no pylon there, it's going to be so hard to defend for Lilbo. Imagine if he keeps on elevating units in that main. Adept said it across the map, by the way, for Lilbo. He made a bunch more from the gateways that he had. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, this could do so much. Yeah, they, they're going to run around these roaches. Roaches without speed. It's going to be very difficult. Yeah, these roaches come out at the perfect time. Oh, is he going to run? But he's got to run past them. Yeah, Adept upgrade on the way as well now. All right, he's going for mineral line, right? He's got to teleport here. Yeah, okay, so he's going to go for the drones. Here we go. Lilbo's got to get a lot of damage done. Transfer but on top. He's got to go again. He's got to go again. How long will he survive? How many of these will survive? There's seven of them into the main, and he goes for the drones again. And the other again. one is not macroing at the same time. He needs to make units. 800 minerals. Sloppy. Elky would never have done that. <laughs> uh, he's going to go for it again. He needs more than four gateways. He's got so much money coming in. Off yeah, he pros. needs a oh. robo. Gateways. Dark Shrine is going to start. Lilbo is getting desperate here. France yeah. on the ropes. Yeah, down 30 supply. And a little bit, yeah, I mean, he doesn't have a proxy pylon here, even. He's got so much money. Here they come, the extra gateways. 
Okay, three ball game. Alright, it's, it's time. Seven gates, all in. So is he gonna go on the adepts or is he gonna... Yeah. Actually, who did he do this against in DreamHack? You remember? Was it like sort of or someone? Uh, who did he... TLO? No. Yeah, he played the TLO and Nurture actually back then. I think he... Which one did he win on? But only adepts yeah. are not that good against Watch, right? Yeah, I mean... That's the problem. Unless you have much higher numbers, which I don't think you will. 40 probes to 61 drones right now. That Dark Shrine gonna have to be the saving grace, but there's no proxy pylon. Where is he gonna warp in his base? Yeah, that's that's kinda that's a little bit weird. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Gonna be reinforcing from my own base. Yeah. I feel like sure can just defend, can just defend yeah, it. Yeah, uh, getting all oh, oh, he's already losing a lot of these attempts at the front. Lilbo's happy to fight though. Okay, he's, he's gonna teleport. They're, though, doing pretty, they're doing pretty good. And he catches three roaches. Three yeah, I mean, DTs are on the way, by the way. Yeah, they're gonna have to snipe a spore somewhere and then snipe that whole base of wherever they're sniping a spore. He's doing okay against these roaches. He's, he's surprisingly okay. Yeah, he's transferring yeah, over the base. They're not doing bad. All right, is that a warp prism or something? In the, the what's that? Okay, mono no core. core. I don't think he has, he has no is robo. Why is he so slow with the DTs? Because he didn't proxy a pylon, then he has no robo, mate. Uh, but you warped him in a long time ago. I feel like yeah, but no, they, a they take a long time to warp in now, I think. That's the problem. Mm. That's why having a proxy pylon is even more important than before. The longer this game goes, the worse it's getting, because this roach count's getting insane. I don't think there's an overseer. Oh my god, look how many roaches there are. Yeah, Nurture's gonna be able to see this. Oh, he's fighting with the Dark Templar! Oh, he's gonna try to get behind and oh, yeah, not let those roaches already. retreat, but there's an overseer now. Oh, Nurture somehow moved to the right time. played it safe enough, and Lilbo oh, he's uh -oh. gonna be losing this game, I think. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Looks like Nurture's gonna win it for Poland. This is it, Link Lilbo's giving up, he's not really doing anything. That's it, GG! Nurcio takes it, Elki, the uh, curse of France. No. The curse of France. Oh, what are you sick. doing? What the f uh. Six <laughs> games in a row, and then they lose four in a row. What do you think? <laughs> I think he, he has he's more to do man. with Nurcio playing really well. Like yeah, Nurcio played really well. Mad props close. to him for sure here. Uh, yeah, Nurcio played well, but yeah. Uh, Poland go through in first place from today's group. This means that France aren't eliminated yet. They must come back tomorrow to play tomorrow night. What the? 4 2. All right, so it's very simple, actually. Um, the third game, so you've got win, win, loss. So that loss is when Elki arrived, and then it continued. <laughs> what? <Cool. laughs> yeah, Nurture killed it, though, today. Like, that was impressive. It's bad, man. Yeah, it seems like he was ready for m almost everything, like every time, like the last yeah. game. And you feel like Lilbo was not really ready for the for the zoning drops. He kind of lost a little bit too much there, yeah. and it's like, yeah, yeah. yeah that zoning drop, if you don't expect it, will always be so annoying. Even if you defend it properly, usually you're gonna have to transfer probes somewhere. Yeah, use a bunch of mine for a while. And even yeah. if you lost only like what I don't know, like four or five yeah, probes. Yeah, five probes is already made probes? it worth it. Yeah. And then the Zerg in the meantime can drone up, which Nurture kind of slacked on. But behind this, his micro was good enough. He went for roaches, knowing that there could be an adept attack, yeah. and uh, perfectly reacted to everything Lilbo was doing. And here are the results of today. France 4-0 uh, against Australia, Poland 4-0 against Sweden. And tomorrow, with Poland going through in first place, we have tomorrow Sweden versus Australia, the first game. And then the winner will take on France, as they hope, and fingers and toes and everything crossed, that they can get through in second place. So if he's get full in second place, it means they're gonna play against a better yeah. team, better team next round. And they play more. I think that I think it is. I have to check, but they play against a first place, a randomized first place. Yeah. So, so if France oh. takes second place here, they could meet Korea. Could if Korea, Korea. Finishes, finishes Unless Korea, finishes Korea gets number two. two. Unless Korea gets number two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> <There's something laughs> Maybe they don't even make it. Yeah. 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 So that, and then they'd have to play in the quarterfinals. And if they did meet in the worst case scenario, Korea in the quarterfinals, they might not make it to to the Olympia in the top four which would be nuts. But uh, that is a long way away, away from, uh, from happening. Yeah, it's not going to happen, man. No, don't, be, don't be like a... Don't be so negative. Don't be such a downer. Don't be so negative. Yeah, what the, no, I what believe, the hell, I man? Believe. I, I'm a believer. Yeah. I'm a believer. I, I think France can do, do very, very well. France will do it. They, they did. Where is Roddy? Roddy predicted this. Oh, Where he is did. He? As well, he did. Oh, he picked sick. Four, no, he said 4-3. He did predict the Poland yeah, win, but... That's not far. 4-3, 4-2. Yeah, well done, Roddy. Everyone hates you here now. I think you just got lucky. <laughs> I think you just got lucky, yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, there the it is. Yeah. Look at this joke. Yeah, Roddy. So they were, they were all predicting. Well, how, you, how can you predict 5-0? Yeah, hey, I thought they were going to crush them so hard it would count as 5-0. <laughs> ah, <sick. laughs> <laughs> Roddy is the only one that uh, bets on Poland, too. Yeah. So yeah. sick. Roddy. Uh,
Roddy, 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 Roddy. We are going to go very shortly in the next minute or two to uh, a winner's interview with Team Poland. Uh, are you coming tomorrow, Elke? Uh... What time does it start? Yeah. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Maybe. Maybe I can be there. Yeah. You have to Good. cheer on France, man. My France is not going to play at 7, right? No, they play more closer yeah. to. Yeah. I want to come, but now it's like day. I came today and you guys are all blaming me. Like, <laughs> and he shows up and France loses like four games in a row. I'm like, what? <laughs> Only if it happens it's tomorrow, bad, we can know for sure that it was you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I should wait. tomorrow I should like wait for France to lead like two or three zero and then come and like. The reverse can happen too. <laughs> <laughs> reverse, reverse sweep. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So I, I guess France will play roughly half past eight, I would guess, tomorrow. Half past eight, nine. Don't play be tomorrow. in traffic. Don't get stuck <laughs> in traffic. No, there's no traffic on Sunday, that's good. Yeah, okay. Don't get stuck in traffic. I have no, I have no excuse. Do you, do you drive or do you taxi? Oh, I don't drive. You no. don't drive? I don't have my driver's license even. Oh, no, man. I Actually, I had it when I, before I moved to Korea. I could like drive like with my parents and stuff, and then I moved to Korea, and, and I came back, and then... I I knew how to drive and I knew I did like the theoretical test and then yeah. I I was like taking the test and I looked so fast in the rear mirror and the inspector didn't believe me. He's like, you didn't look. Of course I look, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I have 248 p.m. What the fuck you think? <laughs> <I'm like, laughs> <"Too laughs> <laughs> it's like a sick old fish and he doesn't know. Well, he didn't see me you looking. So <laughs> and I told him and then he didn't believe me. <laughs> and then he's like, he's like, pull pull over and open the the front thing. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Who cares about opening the front thing? <laughs> <laughs> I, di I didn't know how to open it. He was pissed off and he didn't give it to me, so... Yeah, that sounds like the best driving test <laughs> ever. Oh, man. He's like, he's like, come on, open the front. Why? Because the car's moving. I don't need to do that. All right, so it sounds like the winner's interview is ready. So we're going to go over to the public viewing area, <laughs> as I like to call it, to hear from Team Poland, first place from today's group. Thank you very much, guys. Greatest driving story ever there by LK. Um, one hell of a match, boys. Uh, I hate it, you know. I, yeah. I felt like I had to keep it real, and that's why I went with Poland. I let you guys car carry away with the bias. Yeah, I saw your, uh, um, your match prediction. Mm. Yeah, good one. You're the only one who was right. Well, I think Nerkio is a crazy player, mm. even though I would have loved to see France win this. Uh, Nerkio was amazing. I mean, uh, Neural Parasite oh, against yeah. Lilbo. This I've never seen Neural Parasite in a few years. Nobody uses that, right? Mm -hmm. And he uses it. He's behind, he uses it, and he wins from an almost unwinnable position. So great, great matches from Nerkio. Wh what do you think? Yeah, Nerkio is actually amazing. He's incredibly good. Um, He's the best of his team, obviously. He crushed Marine Lord. The first map against Lilbo is, is, as you said, he's losing the game. And finally, with uh, Parasit Nora, he's, he wins it. And so that's very good. And the, third, the, the second map against Lilbo is quite yeah. easy with the, the Ascensor, with uh, Glings and all this stuff. That's very good. Yeah, it was. Uh, so we're going to get Team Poland on Skype yeah. as soon as they're ready. Might take a minute. Actually, no, they're here already. So wow. uh, nice to see you guys. And first of all, congratulations uh, to everyone. But of course, in particular, you, Arthur. Uh, that was one hell of a performance, mate. Yeah, I think it was pretty good. Uh, although before the games, I didn't feel so good, uh, especially after my teammates lost 0-2, you know? <laughs> Mana, uh, as team captain, I'm sure you're quite pleased. I know that you're probably not happy with your game. You know, that could have gone better. Where do you think it went wrong for you? Uh, how do you feel about your game in particular? Uh, I think the first engagement that we took when he was securing the fourth was not perfectly done. I misjudged my disruptor positioning, but other than that, I think I played a decent game. It was just uh, Marine play played better. So uh, that's okay, but luckily we have a lot of Zerg in our team, so they carried. Yeah. Over the years, of course, you've had a little bit of a rivalry with Nurcio. You know, like uh, obviously you guys, you know, you come from the same country and now you're representing the same nation, but in the past you guys have gone up against each other a lot. But it must feel kind of bizarre to be cheering for the guy that you play so often against and then to see him do so well. Like, how does that feel for you as team captain? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the only tournament I'm going to cheer for Nurcio. But, <laughs> <laughs> but he was pretty amazing, wasn't he, today? Yeah, he played very well. Very clean game. I'm proud of him. And Eliezer, uh, about you, you lost to Marine Lord's Reaper. I mean, is there any solution to those Reapers? Are Roaches a good solution? What did you miss? Yeah, I think that what I played was pretty good, actually. I just, um, I think I was ahead, actually, after the, after I pushed back the Reapers. But 
Later I didn't scout, I thought he's going for the third base and yeah, but that, that was pretty close, I, I think I could have hold. Alright, yeah. thanks. And uh, so, Nurkyo, I mean, all the French community is so sad. We're not out of the tournament mm -hmm. yet, so it's okay. But uh, when, when you were playing the first map against Lilbo, I, I mean, at the end, you were behind. What, why did you go Neural Parasite? What did you think at that moment? Well, at first I wasn't really confident going versus Libo at this map. I think this was one of the worst maps for me to play against Libo. So that was, and also against Marine Lord on Orbital Shipyard. Those were, weren't the two good maps for me. And versus Libo, I, I had a really bad early game. Or maybe we can say that Libo actually played a really good early game with uh, Adepts and Oracle. Uh, I'm not sure how he knew that I didn't have a spore like at the back base, you know, so he went there with an oracle. Well, everything fell apart and uh, I kind of came back with, with the timing that he did and ultras on time. But still I knew that I didn't have money for broodlords and ultras are just not enough versus immortal Archon army. So uh, the, only, the only chance for me was catching him in good position with fungal and neuroparasite. Uh, yeah, actually, if it was like a normal fight uh, and I didn't catch him so well, I would have probably lost still. Okay, okay nice. And so, guys, you finished first of the group. We'll probably won't have to play against South Korea. How do you feel with that? Well, maybe Elazar can say something. I'm definitely happy about... Uh, uh, I think we, we cannot meet Korea as long as they advance from the first place, and I, I guess that's the most important thing for us. Yeah, you can already do a little bit of spectating because, of course, we saw one other group being played out already where China was the runner-up, so you guys could potentially run into China. If that would happen, how would you feel about that matchup? Oh, we would destroy China without a problem. Oh. <laughs> all right, well, if that would be the case, then we would all welcome you to Paris. And that was awesome. Overall, I think this was a really fantastic match. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I think, Elasia, you were phenomenal in the first uh, match that you played early today. Unfortunately, here against Marino, a little less, but, you know, Nurcho saved the day. Do you guys have any final words? Well, I think it was just a very good evening. Uh, it was a close series, uh, but I think it was fun. Um, so thank you very much for providing Nation was free. And good job, Nurcho, and good job to your team at O-Gaming as well. All right. Yeah, thanks for the time. All right. Time. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the matches. See you. Bye bye. See you. Bye. See you. Well, amazing performance from them. Um, I mean, uh, yeah. that, that, that game, we can talk about that game for like 10 minutes or 15 minutes if we want to. The, the first one, Liu Bao and. Uh, uh, and Nocho, there's a very funny side story to it. Because yesterday, I think Petit Drogo, he was casting on the English stream. And we started talking about PVZ and we started like, what do you like to do? And a couple of people highlighted this as well, Team Liquid, because it came out very funny. And at a certain point, Petit Drogo is like, in PVZ, I have a build. And then like, we just look at him, so like, now you're going to talk, right? And, and he's like, yeah, but, and then he just started talking about the game. So people was like, Petit Drogo, I have a build. And that's like all he said. <laughs> but apparently, like, that was kind of the build. This is like the idea. Yeah. Nexus first, adapts Oracle, so you can do a lot of economic damage with it. And Lilbo really put himself in a great position. And the fact that Nurture was somehow able to come from behind, despite being in such a rough spot, uh, uh, I think it was fantastic. Actually, uh, yesterday, Lilbo went to Petit Drogo, and he asked him for a build. And Petit Drogo gave him this build. Which, which Lilbo executed against Nekyo, which worked fine. I think he killed like 30 drones at the origin, so which is okay. And yeah, unfortunately, right. he lost his oracle, so he couldn't put stasis traps in front of his army, which was a problem. And he did not execute it perfectly because he didn't have enough, enough practice with it. Mm -hmm. But it is really, really a strong PvZ build, yeah. I mean, it created a phenomenal game. We really enjoyed it. Hopefully, everybody at home enjoyed it as well. So let's throw it back to the casters one more time, and they will close out the show. Thank you very much, boys. Uh, back here on the English casting desk. You have Hi, some fun luck. casting. Good luck uh, closing up, Apollo. I heard you're not very good with that. No, I'm not very good at closing <laughs> anything, man. You, you, I felt like you sat there for five minutes thinking of something to destroy. Actually, me. I wasn't thinking of something. I just improvised, like, so, like closing up. Nice. So I'm like, I'm closing up, I look at Apollo, man. and like, the guy can't close up anything. So, Todd. 
Yeah, yeah you, you can, can do it, man. You can do it, man. Well, are we not going to speak for a little bit before? No, no, no. You, you, you know, you <laughs> say you had a great day. You ask me, did I have fun? You ask if yeah, he had oh fun. Okay, okay. That was yeah. great. Oh, it was a great day of games. Yeah. Friends didn't advance, but they will tomorrow unless Elki shows up. And uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so a lot of I'm just kidding. I hope you come back. Games, though, they were like really close and a lot yeah. of action. It's uh, it's really fun to cast and to observe. Yeah, man. And uh, I, I know a lot of people enjoyed listening to you, uh, your story, your car story, <laughs> your cast. That was fun, man. It's yeah, fun. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play some more legacy, so I'm not gonna be as fishy when I do uh, commentaries. Because sometimes I don't really know like what they're doing. Because yeah. I play the game right, but like it doesn't work for me. I'm like, can you kill <laughs> Ultra Risk with like Marines in the? Yeah, yeah. It seems pretty hard. But right? you play Terran though. You will always know more about the race that you play. Than yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Again, Protoss. But you've been to a lot of StarCraft events recently, man. Yeah, it's you a lot of fun, man. BlizzCon and Prague. There's a show I've been to the, like, yeah, Prague, BlizzCon, and uh, DreamHack. So yeah. uh, and you're done, playing yeah. the Intercaster tournament of gaming. Yeah, right? I'm gonna, I think I'm going to advance too, so I'm going to crush them next round. I'm going to practice. Let's do it. He's gonna, he's gonna wreck yeah. some faces. That I wish, I wish it was Apollo in it actually, so I could crush him. <laughs> oh! I crush you, Elkie. It might happen if you know she said that. <laughs> uh, thank you very much to Blizzard, of course, as always, and thank you to Twitch TV. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching Nation Wars 3 this evening. Remember, tomorrow we come back with France fighting. I'll come back with oh. half a baguette tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> As they hope to fight. Either Sweden or Australia will go out in last place in the group, and then they will fight against France at 7 p.m. tomorrow. Here is the group one last time before we say good night. Sweden versus Australia at 7 p.m. local time. Winner takes on France, and the winner of that goes through in second place with Poland. Closing words, Todd. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you tomorrow. Sick fish, man. Sick fish, shoot them all. Let's see you guys.